G'day, mate. Welcome to this quick introduction to Biter Battles. And this one's slightly different. This is for the Biter Battles champions. So, a couple of things about Biter Battles. We're going to go over these as quickly as possible. So, Biter Battles is a PvEVP. Yes, it is indirect combat. Because Factorio is really not designed for direct combat. Considering Behemoth Biters have like over 3,000 hit points and a player has 250. Yeah. Um, things don't scale up evenly for PvP, but the way we got around this was Biter Battles with, you know, PvEVP. So, what you have to do in Biter Battles is you have to make science. We're going to cover science in a second. Make science packs. Those science packs you can either put in your own lab. Once they're in your own lab, you can use them for research. Research will obviously give you access to new technologies. Upgrade your existing technologies. Bigger bullets, better bullets, faster bullets, more explosive bullets. All those normal things we have in Factorio. Uh, you can go all the way up to lasers and flamers if you want, but at the same time, the other team is also teching up. They're also increasing their technology. They're also finding more effective ways to deal with the biters themselves. On top of that, each team has a GUI. We're going to cover that in just a second. Up the top left-hand corner, which they can use to throw any science packs they have in their inventory across the river to the other side. When throwing them across the river to the other side, the other side's biters will increase in two numbers. One is their evolution, the other is their threat. Okay, higher the evolution, we've all dealt with evolution before, bigger and badder evolution is obviously bad for the poor little engineer. Higher threat is, think of threat as more of a gauge of how many biters are on their way. How many biters are scheduled to come and ruin your day. Your one objective for each team is to protect the silo. Only protect the silo. Nothing else matter, really matters. Obviously, if you happen to live a little bit longer at the same time, that's definitely a bonus. Now, being that this is the Biter Battles Champions Tournament, there's a couple of rule changes. Uh, first off, matches are 3v3, okay? Uh, plus, there's an extra team player, extra team player, which is entirely optional. That team player can sit on uh, the lovely island in the middle of the map. Whilst they're sitting in the middle of the map, they can obviously be in Discord. They can yell at their team, notice mistakes. At the same time, they can view a limited area of what the other team on the other side of the river is doing. Yes, the two teams are separated by a lovely river across the middle which is non-landfillable, non-traversable, nothing can shoot across it. The teams are 100% immune from one another. On top of that, each match in the Biter Battles Championships has an away team and a home team. The home team gets three advantages. One is to choose which side of the map they want to play on. Not that it really matters. Both sides are uh, mirrored 100%, so they're exactly the same. They get to re-roll on the map twice. So if they're not happy with how the map rolled, they can choose to re-roll it. And the other option they get is they get to choose a starter pack. We're going to come back to starter packs in just a second. So, biters are bad, number one. Number two, protect your silo. Number three, there's one other change to increase the speed of these championship rounds, is after two hours of gameplay, Armageddon mode will be activated. Armageddon basically scales up evolution from whatever it is to 100% very, very quickly. 100% uh, Evo is bad, very, very bad, especially in Biter Battles, of which the evolution can scale past 100%, I should mention, because, you know, it, it's a battle of championships. One team must survive, one team must fail. On top of that, as I said, they've already removed uh, artillery and the atomic bomb. There's also no landmines, and of course, there's no landfill. There's no cliffs on the map. One other thing is, uh, or two other things, is the game can be paused if somebody's having connection issues, and also... The game speed can be lowered if the teams start running into UPS problems. Lastly, we have a clear corpses command. The corpses automatically magically disappear every 15 minutes because, well, there's a lot of corpses on the map. So starter pack choices. Uh, we have the regular, the science, the robot, and the combat. So as we can see, the different starter packs are designed to accelerate that early game, get it up and running a lot faster. There are definitely pros and cons to different starter packs. All depends on how the two teams are training, what sort of packs they're training with. One of the other things with this uh, particular round of championships is the Behemoth League is big and nasty and has no blueprints. The Biter League does have blueprints. So the goodies chosen in the starter packs appear in these three chests for each team to grab out their required items. They do have that silo to protect. There is a limited amount of uh, defenses around the silo to start with. Also, there is guaranteed three gun turrets to protect the lovely rocket silo, along with random guns with random amounts of 
ammo around the outside. Again, that depends on the gods of RNG. On top of that, both teams have an exactly identical mirrored map. So we can see the iron between the two of them is mirrored, copper, coal, so on and so forth. There is a certain amount of dedicated re resources to start with, along with a mixed patch. The mixed patch, the resources are much more dense. You know, we're talking a thousand... A thousand plus per tile here compared to 600 over here, 500, so much, much more dense, but the catch is it's mixed. Uh, lastly is we have this as a, this lovely GUI up here that lets me take science packs out of my inventory and throw them to the other team. On top of that, you can choose to sh throw a fish. If you throw a fish across to the other team, you will be able to see what the other team sees for 45 seconds per fish. There are many, many fish, get much, much spy time. So with all that said, we should probably cover biter pathfinding really, really quickly. So as we already covered, there are no cliffs on the map and both sides of the map are perfectly mirrored. So we can see every iron patch, every coal patch, every rock, every little bit of water matches one side to the other side perfectly. But at the far end of the map on both the north and the south, you're gonna find that's where the biters live. Now the biters do not directly path for the silo. Because that would be boring. You just build all your defenses across the front of the wall. What the biters actually do is they are sent to path across the map to a random location. It could be directly in front of your base. It could be to the far east or the far west. And then once they're sent out there, that's the point when they're actually sent towards the silo. So in Biter Battles Championships, at least you will find that often biters will come and flank bases. You have been warned. It does make the game much, much more interesting. But with this quick six and a half, seven minute introduction out of the way, let's get on to today's shoutcast. So, uh... So, home team, which is Steel Axe, will get a chance to choose or keep this map, or choose or reroll. So they'll say uh, they'll say keep or reroll. So there's Fire Razor, set, and they'll have a have a little bit to do that, and then uh, they'll talk about it. Uh, keep, oh, he's gonna keep it, and then they choose the starting Combat pack, North and then they choose ready. the side. Wow! So very quickly, he says keep it. Uh, they want to go to the combat pack, which will put that up up on there. It'll be this pack over here. And they choose north, and uh, they are ready. There it is. Yeah. The manager for Team North. The manager sits on this island with a speaker. <laughs> Make sure you press Alt. And then Gabriel will be on this island for the team. So Ugg, Heha, and... And Ken Ogre for south, Anti Nephrims, and Zeno for north. Uh, oh yeah, no, uh, a remarkable, boring reason for no landmines. I suspect his story how Jerry attacked the other team with landmines. No. No. So, uh, we have giant max patch with iron attached. Iron around the, the silo. So silo's going to get some defenses whether we like it or not. Uh, we have... Ugh. Not very many guns. Not very many guns. Uh, One of them there has two ammo in it. Yep. Looks like uh, six guns, plus the three on the silo. Yeah. Yeah. No visible oil. Yeah, I'm not expecting oil yet. Mm. Uh, okay, we should do some predictions. Now we're that far in. Where's the predictions button? No space for Steel X. Start prediction. Uh, who wins? North versus South. Start prediction. Go! I'll put mine in there too. Steel Axe prefers, uh, that we've seen in the past, Steel Axe prefers a use red and green only for their own science and then start throwing military. military. They gen generally race to military. Yeah. Whereas uh, C4 will will do a little bit of red but then camp out on green and just throw, throw lots and lots of green. Uh, yeah, Jetty shot rockets across the river and tank shells, and tank shells. And Rubble is correct. If you're on the south side, that's the only advantage south has. If they get to a rocket and you load a, 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 a vehicle in the rocket and then you jump in the rocket, you can get out on the north side of the, uh, the, the, the river if you get to a rocket. That's the only advantage South has. North has the advantage of if they put down radars because they scan in a clockwise direction, 
North radars work. South radars don't ter work terribly well until they've been running for a while. It takes a while to get it get around there to, mm -hmm. to work, right? They have because they go radars go uh, clockwise and they'll start in the upper left. So you'll see the map reveal there. So uh, starting us upper left. So you throw a radar somewhere around say here, anyway, and anyway uh, on south, and then it'll start to reveal the north side of the uh, of the map. Yep. So there you go. So we're going to see power here for both teams, right beside the coal. That's a no-brainer. Yep. Pretty uh, easy. Steel Axe has a habit of just going all burner city and yep. going very, very late in the smelters. Uh, yep. C4 tends to go fairly heavy burner city and, and hand feed their green builds. Yep. And there's hand not feed. a lot of space. Like they got really they're, lucky with all, but yeah. there's not a lot of free space. Yeah, they're gonna have to be. They have to make some hard decisions of what to build over. You know. Uh, oh, there is that gap in front of the in front of the silo, where the wall's missing. Like, there's a decent amount of room there. Um, you have a lot of turrets in this pack and heavy armor. They have a solar panel. You got some good inserters. They start off with the fewest amount of burners. Uh, Combat. Very Chat interesting. Asks, History of Biter Battles. Does anyone go belong beyond blue science, let alone the rocket? Uh, Biter Battles, the, the, the actual pro matches, yes. Purple has been started. Yeah. And it, it was. It's pretty rare. It wasn't Steel Axe who did it. Baguettes? Probably Baguettes, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Because anti Nephrims didn't have a plan on, on how to get Purple Science running, whereas Baguettes had planned that far in advance. The uh, <clears throat> the issue is, um, yeah, look, they put their they put the um, logos. Everybody, uh, every team is is now um, obligated to upload a logo, and then once they uh, there's some sort of relationship outside. Oh, let me start the timer. Still so Axe on the uh, logo on the side looks dope. It does. Yep. All right, off we go. All right. Anti has destructed. Oh, look at that! How smart is that? He's marked the fish and he's frozen them. Yep. They the de won't planet. move. How about that? You deconstruct the fish to hold them there. How about that? Pretty sharp. Yeah. That's big brain. Any other fish can wander into that range, but those ones are stuck. That's pretty smart. The stuff's researching automation. Do they even have a lab down? Oh, they've got the lab down! Wow, it's way out there. Oh, uh, just Nephrims. He's While well, he's chopping trees, he just threw it down to power it up. Oh, he's handcrafting red. They they don't get any red science with the, their build. He's handcrafting red. Don't they? So look, he throws he'll throw no, one or two or three in. Okay. I am not a developer, no. Uh, I hope Steel Axe steals the show. Ha ha ha! Could that not freeze all the fish? Uh their decon planet only works to about halfway across. So no, actually, I think it's within five or eight tiles of the river. Because that has happened previously, where somebody has gone and de deconned all the fish, uh, and then they've been stuck. Mm. When are we going to see you and Clown Town as host on ESPN? Uh, probably never. All oh, South is already uh, getting the ESPN, the Ocho. Getting look smelt block up and running. <clears throat> all right, so powers there as predicted. Uh, North hasn't done anything. Get out of here. Why do you have a cape on? Son has a cape on. Cape on? Why, why are you wearing a cape? He has a, he has a cape. Actually, I don't, I don't mind the cape. It's a, it's a waffle. It's a waffle. Uh, it, it's Larry the Compatron. <sighs> it's part of the story. He just wanders around. Mm. Super Burner City so far. For North, haven't... South, South has built a smelter. They've got electric miners. They've got they're, a line. They're, 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 they're yeah. running. Yeah, they got a line. 
You don't get any electric miners uh, nope. in, so they must have built all those. Handcraft. Now from the stuff to ante some wood, some uh, some wood too. Yeah. Not much. It started. Not much. I haven't seen any copper yet. Oh no, 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 they, they, they do have copper. There we go. Xenos grabbing fish. All right, Steel they got uh, automation. automation. Damn. Yep. So they do get some plates, some gears, sixteen inserters. Ingo needs a power pole. There he goes. Okay, C4 has started automation. First biters are in and dead. Ken is mining into a box. Okay. So north is just going for exponential. Exponential, like like crank up the stone production, the coal production, the copper production. They're, they're going all burner city at this stage. And they're just going to keep going burner city until they get to basically a critical mass. Nephrims has wrapped what limited guns they have in wool. And they do get some guns, don't they? Don't they? Yes, they get 18 yeah, guns, 420 rounds, and 120 wool with some brick. They do get, yeah, 18 turrets is pretty pretty good. And there's oil up there. Uh, oh, look at there. They, we found oil. Yeah. A little bitty bit, but uh, very doable. But, 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 a little bit's all you need. All you need. You start taking it early, you'll be fine. Uh, and North has set up automation. Where are they? Yep, they're about to do red science automated. Hand fed but automated. And south is Yeah, get me. Logistics. Green and then steel. Yep. Uh, probably heading for uh probably heading for for uh, military. No throws, no stealth throws so far. Okay, Chicken, do you realize I am on super limited monitor space? Oh, so, reading chat is actually really, really difficult. Oh, that's Catlin. Right. It was, we got it down to where uh, closing the inventory is four clicks now instead of 18. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> yeah, I got that going for us. Oh. There you go, Chaotic Chicken. Looks like uh, Nephrims is going, uh, they're going uh, vertical uh, smelting. Scout Geek, no, 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 no. Uh, go to bed child, is awake, unfortunately. Mm. I'm go away. Alright, so South has got gears up and automated and has a line of iron slowly getting up and running. Uh, slowly. They've got some intermediates automated. So can you actually type in chat? Me? What? What do you mean? Can you type in your own chat? Uh, sort of. Because Chaotic Chicken has redeemed the 666 of Devil Reward. Yeah, and has been uh, positively timed out. Really? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Uh, okay. So there you go. No Barner City. They're they're actually going for uh, Steel X is uh, is going for a line. Well, they got a significant Burner City up and running first. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. As usual. Yeah. It's that catch me too. Do you put the early resources into expanding your early resources, or do you do as South has done and go for strict automation? Oh, oh, look look at the underground. Look at the carefully crafted underground belt there. Yeah. <laughs> you can't. We got no time. 
We get no time for undergrounds. Ah, uh, they got them research. Yep. <clears throat> <laughs> and, uh, oh yeah, chaotic chicken says hi. Is electric burners an advantage in this mode? Um, electric, electric, uh, electric miners—they mine faster. That's really the big thing. Yep. So it's twice the amount of ore out, and as you're super yeah. limited on ore patches, that adds up. Mining speed, 0 0.25 a second. Mining speed, 0 0.5. So there's yeah. double the ore coming up hey, out of the bear. ground on an electron. Electri hey, Tech Bear. So don't, because I'm in a temporary setup, uh, I have had to put everything on the dining room table, which is a lot of the glass top pan uh, table, which is really bad for trying to clamp monitor stands to and microphone stands and everything to. Uh, Actually, they mine slower per area taken by the miner. Uh, yeah. Slower per area. Yeah, but you don't have to hand feed them. Uh, and when you've only got three players, hand feeding them sucks. Is that more expensive than underground? Can't be more expensive if something you don't have yet. Correct. This is why they chose yeah. to use the longhand inserters. Just Didn't have it yet. <laughs> get it moving. Uh, so South needs inserters. That's that's what they're lacking. They would have more smelting up and running if they had inserters. There you go. And oh, we're gonna attack. Oh, Ken is in combat and damaging his own base with with a shotgun as usual. And North is just building towards the biters and hoping for the best. <laughs> well, they got some guns. <clears throat> yeah, they've got some guns. They've got some guns. They've moved their guns out. Actually, I actually haven't seen South do anything with their guns. Hang on. Where is... What do I click on? The players. Okay. And then I click on the team name again. And who has the guns? Xeno so, you know, clicking on. There's a box or something. Ken has... Oh, some have gone down, some haven't. Okay, can we click this X? Oh, it worked! It works, clown. I closed the inventory and it went away. One click. Hmm. Has North powered their solo? Uh, yes. Which is a bad idea. But so be it. Still four for me. Uh, no, no, no. no. I, I, I clicked on the on the team name, and then there's an X beside the team name. I clicked on that, and it went away. And oh. that gun is dead. Pretty much. Four, three. Oh, oh. Waste of three rounds. Waste of three rounds. Uh, Everlord is very happy now. Thanks, Jay. Uh, thank you, Fire. Thank you, Everlord. That is... That at least means it's usable again. Uh, uh, so we finally updated the code just for you, Jenny. No, no, no. Somebody tested in the latency condition. Uh, although even Clowntown was having issues. Although it's a European server. So yeah, real, yeah. real life testing in uh, real, uh, real latency conditions. Okay. South needs to do something about like they've got their automated smelters but they need to automate some coal into their automated smelters and oh they're finally gonna, they just got undergrounds now things are gonna fly they got undergrounds now they can do things mm. can we see north please yeah so north has got a mini mall up and running with iron... Do I have a mall? <clears throat> ah, here we go. He's anti-bringing over the copper right now into that belt. Yeah. 
and then I'm going to split the copper off here to run green circuits, inserters, belts. They got both an inserters and belts on one thing. So that's red science. Then we're going to have a green science build right here into labs somewhere. They've only got their three labs down here. Yeah, they're going to pull the uh, green science on the opposite side of red science. This and is a dedicated build, build from north. This is one that they've they've used multiple times before. Yes. Yep. Right. <clears throat> Full iron, and then half a copper on the same belt. And then new iron, which will turn into uh, iron, and then steel, and then brick. And then this whole thing will get turned over to a military build later. Oh. There we go. Now we got reds. Pihar is um, fighting out with a pickaxe. Come on, Pihar. There's, there's a pile of guns. No. No. Got grenades? No. 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 There we go. Grenades. I do have grenades. <clears throat> he just threw eight of them. I know. I saw... <laughs> he, uh, he killed uh, 30 biters and then he uh, threw three into the pile again. I'm guessing he was latency condition or really, really wanted to make sure they were dead. It's insistent. I bet he wishes he had... Uh, oh! That's a latency condition. Yeah, pause. So we got coal running for south. They've got their iron up and running. They've got their copper up and running. Uh, Ugg is about to mass do green science. Uh, north has a very large red build up and running. They're about, Nephrims is about to whack down a very large green build. Because they've got the inserters automated, he should be able to get that up and running half a second. Which means, yeah, they've already ripped up that uh, temporary lab set up. Uh, they're expanding power left, right, and center. Uh, yeah, see, so they've tapped out most of their iron, half their copper. So their next build is a military build, which will go right where Xeno Cyber is standing right now. Yep. And that's going to require, well, that stone. Probably that stone as well. And then they're going to have to start dealing with a mix patch to go past one military build. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, and that hasn't I, been changed into an underground yet. Has not been converted. We're, we're, we're going with the two red inserters because they're doing the job. Gonna be interesting to defend the, the long boy. Well, as their oil's there, we've got a little bit of water up here. I don't know whether they'll go that far north, but yeah, it does mean that their wall is gonna be right across here. Oh. Mm. No bug, if you're frozen, click on the map to unfreeze. Sorry. Oh. Alright, Ken comes down. Does Ken have grenades? Yep, done. Yep, I do. <clears throat> and no throw for now. either team yet. We're 15 minutes in and nobody's, nobody's got a spare science pack that they don't, they don't want to use. They don't want to do something with. Nephrams, grenade. Ah, uh, grenade, done. And I started, so North has started doing bricks already. And obviously they've listened to me, and it's one electric to one stone furnace. <laughs> Look at the big science build. That's a lot of labs. 
Uh, for north. That's going to be... Yeah. yeah, for north, that's going to be 24 labs. Th that's... We want science done quickly. I we guess. have speed it at this speed. Oh, yeah, yeah, you've done speed running. You know how many labs you need. It's yeah, a massive but, amount. You got, but they've got, uh, they've got all kinds of uh, ambition then because... Because that's a lot of that's a lot of science to consume all that time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten ratio. So that means they're military. They're gonna they're gonna build like what ten? What is the uh, uh, one military pops out in, in doubles? It's only five of them. So Definitely here's your ratio. <clears throat> so ten, yeah, ten military. Five. Right? Five. Well, at their ratio, it's 10, because they're doubling everything. And yeah, then yeah, blue's going to be whoa, like 20. Military, you get two per per craft. Yeah, just, those are the, those, that's the machines needed. Right, so blue, that means, that means uh, we're going to have 24 blue machines to fill all those labs. Otherwise, the labs are wasted. Well, they're not going to do blue signs. They'll do red, they'll do green, they'll get some military, they'll get flamers, they'll, they'll be done. Maybe. Or oh, maybe. Clowns or maybe. Clowns eating. Wow. Oh. It's a stream, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. That's a grenade Look. build. Their fribs is gone. I want grenades. Yeah. I That's want grenades on my grenades with some grenades. <laughs> That's how you do grenades. Problem solved. Electronics. Oh, engine. No, cancelled. Queued. What is North doing science-wise? Come on, game. You, whoop. Boom. Okay. So they're doing engine right now. So after engine, uh, they're going to need electronics, automation, fluid handling, oil processing. They might come back and get a steel axe, military science pack, and then flammables. And they have to get the 50 military to get the actual flamethrower. Oh, there's the first throw. First throw. <clears throat> Nephrim's had some in his inventory, though. Pissed him off. He got rid of him. Do them. Hmm. Um, somebody said blue science. Where's Fox? He'll help you out. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Updater. All right. So South has got lots of iron. Oh, shit. Uh, my timer's off now. I wanted to try and catch up, but now I'll let it go too long. Oh, because the pause. It, it's 18 like minutes. seconds off. It's 18 minutes, 40, 15, 20, 20, 20 seconds, top left hand corner. Just What you need to do is you just need to have a new source, which is the game source, that big, right? And then just stretch it out large and just superimpose it down the bottom. Now, we'll always be correct. So, for timeouts, I mean. <clears throat> I mean, it's it's a lot. A lot of it is referee discretion. So it is. It is. I don't think they have a certain number. Do they have a certain number of uh, timeouts? Of uh, pauses? Each, each team could have one pause per hour. Is the official rules? But let's right. be honest. If 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 like we could see Heha was having he he -ha? was it he -ha? Yeah. Yeah. Was having issues. Was right. He was he yep. was throwing multiple grenades when he shouldn't be. He, he was having issues. It was latency causing. Um, you know, the the ref will probably pause no matter what. Right. Uh, especially that if he's made one, aware one per, of... Yeah, one per hour is, is everything is going fine and you just like, look, I gotta, I gotta go pee. You know? Or yeah. <sighs> but it, it looks like Auntie went up and hit the restroom while... Uh, well, it was paused anyway. Yeah, well, pauses are guaranteed to be a minute. So, oh, are they? Yeah. Okay, that's good. All right, so Annie's just hooked up stone, which is going to give us brick. Nephrim's is then going to have a brick build. He already has a grenade build. 
Uh, the red and green science is powering along. They have got nothing in the queue. Which means somebody's not paying attention. Who's the coach? Phoenix! Phoenix! Bad coach. Yeah, is, is Phoenix not uh, telling them to get their science on? Unless they want to gather some up for a throw. Uh, they they get buffed that, at the you know. end, and like at the end of the day, the second buffer box is missing. So, you know, the the coach has no excuse at all. Uh, yeah, Nephron's just started walls with a mass buffer. So, uh, Nephron's has so we've got ammo, we've got steel, we've got copper right there, we've got grenades, we've got wall. So it is uh, AP ammo right about here somewhere, and then a military build here. Yep. <clears throat> so Auntie's going out to find some action, but uh, there's another group that just went past him. Uh, oh, look at the water. Nice uh, grouping, or nice uh, channeling. You can probably set up a little perimeter. Yep, there we go. Radar on an island. That way it's safe from biters. Not spitters, but biters. Well, given that information, do they move their wall up here? I would have, like yeah. It's a long way Maybe. away. You'd have to have one player up there at all times. But it's Definitely put down some doable. stone path. Probably doable. Okay, Xeno is do, throwing uh, again. Ken is dealing with biters. Pihar's dealing with biters. We're at 15 and 10%. That's, that's two people dealing with biters. On uh, on uh, C4, not building. Yeah, South's getting there, but they're much slower to get things done. I, I, I Nephrims, Nephrims and Annie are both like they're building, they're hardcore building, and then they're popping out to deal with problems bit by bit. Apart from Annie, who's just gone for a, a, a giant tour of the base. <clears throat> yep. And the map, just. For the fun of it. Well, he put threw down a couple of radars way out there. One radar is about to get trounced. <clears throat> yeah, it's dead right up. Uh, is landfill completely removed? Uh, you can use landfill, but you can't use it on the river. The river is magical and special. Uh, yeah, landfill is not, not removed. Biters earlier, and they do some scanning for you by revealing more of the map. If they survive, yep. they do scouting. Realistically, a player and a radar view is about the same. Radar has, I think, one chunk more than a player a does? Slight, slight, slightly more, yeah. Yeah. So if the radar survives, yes. Do yeah, they give needs you... To, needs to yeah, sit there for a couple minutes and reveal yeah. some of the map and then be good. Uh, so this is the only benefit for the north. Radar start scanning from top left quarter. Yes, they do. Oh. I like their use of radars. I don't. I don't think uh, in large teams make uh, as good a use of it as they should. Radars are pretty cheap, and they handcraft very quickly. Except they do take a little bit of power, so you gotta have your power uh, act together. Uh, no, he had to take care of it. Um, well, a radar. Radar is what's that? Three hundred kilowatts, and you guys do nine hundred. So three radars is one steam engine. Oh, Auntie's laying down some path. I think he's decided this is where the wall's going to be. That's an odd spot for the wall. That can't be where Maybe. the wall's going to be. No other oil, <clears throat> I guess. They may have to survive on just those two spots. Unless they find some along the edge. You know? That can't be right. Look at all the green science. <clears throat> I need to throw some, otherwise it's going to back up uh, for south. Check out right here. Ah, uh, it's got a little little while to go. All right, so south 24. is powering through engines, automation two, fluid handling. They haven't put oil processing in the queue yet. All flammables. I don't know why people don't just queue up everything. And north is going all the way down to oil processing. So, flammables are going to be next. Both teams oh. are definitely going for fire. 
And that is definitely two dead guns. Yep. Which really didn't like that wall. Really, they didn't like that wall. And Anti doesn't like that. Problem solved. <laughs> Problem solved. So, a couple throws. They're trying to debunk oh, clown straight wall theory. Oh, is that what it is? Anti just must have concrete on him. Bricks on him. That's the only thing. Because it's, it's literally a running path. It's right where he's running. To get 30 speed. Oh, that's some oil. And the, uh, the stone may be may have had it here. Uh, oh yeah. no, they haven't they haven't triggered. On, oh, they did. One dead radar. Uh, one dead nephrims. Oh, and nephrims went down. I <clears throat> seem to have armor. Oh, like Sixty light armor. grenades. Sixty grenades and a shotgun. Light armor was the issue. Two dead guns. The Zeno can get over there quick. Oh, two dead guns. Dang. Yeah, so Xeno and Anti have both upgraded to heavy. Uh, Nephrims didn't bother. And on the south side, we only have Hiha and heavy armor. The other two players haven't bothered. Like, heavy armor is super important. South does not have a dedicated steel build yet. No. And they keep dealing with biters constantly. There's been quite a few throws if you look at the mutagen log. Little ones? I've seen north throw, uh, I haven't seen south throw. But obviously they're must off. Yeah, Ken Ogre threw a few. Uh, about 152. Okay. <gasps> Yep, no one's no one's broached mediums yet. Any second though. Y you know what's worse? Like South is is powering on and they got this lovely build going, but they didn't bother hooking in the other side of the green build. It's an impressive build that's only half running. Oh look at that! You're right. Oh, there's the, the steel build. That's on the coach. There's the steel build. Yep. Look at there. Yeah, price of about twenty one belt. You got double your green. No, and look, it's uh, backing up too. Not even that. Ten belt. Ten belt. Yeah. <clears throat> Inserters aren't backing up, but uh, yeah, they need. Oh no, they green. are. They are. Inserters aren't. <clears throat> oh look, oh, does Ugg see it? No. 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 Nope. <laughs> no. Well, he's grabbing steel, which probably means he's getting his heavy armor right. crafted. Get your acting gear, Gabe. That's you, Gabe. <sighs> That's on you, Gabe. Player 5x5 five five chunks, radar 7x7 seven seven chunks, so 25 versus 49 chunks. No, no, no. Radar is one extra chunk all the way around. Okay? The ones behind you don't matter because that's the direction you came from. So it literally is the difference between you taking one extra step into the next chunk. Oh, there's some oil. We finally found the oil. Look how far it is out there. It's, that's not going to happen. That's, yeah, it's not going to happen. Far. That, that's way too far away. Oh, what I would expect Steel Axe to do is to go um, run against... Oh, you can't get across there. But they would go They would go east and uh, go against the coast and go try and find some like way out here and just pipe it all the way back. So, he's out dan dancing. and he just threw 300 military packs. Where did they get that? <clears throat> uh, the, the military build I said they were going to build. Oh, wow. There you go. It. it is. It's there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that grenade build is actually one grenade machine only, right? It's it's this one. That's the only thing that's putting grenades into the into the box. Uh, the rest of them are putting grenades in the military. Uh, are they? Hang on. Yeah. Uh, so it's 12%. That hurts. Uh, 29.5%. 29, 29.5%. That'll be mediums. That'll be good. All right, here comes straight wall. I like Ken Ogre's uh, strategy, straight wall. Straight walls save lives. Mm. That was an Evo jump? Yeah, Evo jump and a half. Oh, 
Oh, he ran. He had one shotgun shell. He shot it, and then he, <laughs> he ran out. Oh, look! He's on the other side. They uh, they snuck around. Uh oh, he's shooting the wall. He's stuck in the wall. There you go. There you go. This how do you deal with bodies with with a pickaxe? Well, it's taking too much time. He's got 26 grenades. You just throw one grenade and uh, deal with them and move on. Yeah, he's, got, but he's got other things to do. Does he? he? He's just in charge of the walls. Does he have he's other got a lot things to, to do. do? He totally does have things, things to do. What's in Ken's inventory? 26 grenades. Um, um, no wall. I like the, uh, the cross stone paths. I don't know what we're going to do with them up here. I'm waiting to see North if North does something about defense. This is uh this is pretty sharp right here. Of course this may be the Oh no no no. No Look no because it's uh, all blighters. They... Blighters can't path to it. Yeah. They can't path to it. That's really good. You see them they see them they thought about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They thought, like, oh, oh tasty go... don't can't touch oh, it. Oh no, can't touch it. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, Auntie's gonna go out and dance with these guys. So the more... this is the easier one because they're biters, not spitters, you don't have to do them as much dancing. Yeah, uh, north north has oil. Ping it. Where? Oh, there it is. Yeah, they did. They piped the two. They brought it right along the coast. And where's it going? To a tank so far. In the tank. That's it. Right. So, What's up, Michelle? They have oil. They have a second grenade build that has to be hand-fed iron. Uh, Zeno and uh, Nephrems are currently getting a steel build up and running. I still uh, think it's worth uh, one engine and one pump to put an intake pump on that tank. I agree. Uh, I agree. Pull although it, pull it out, pull it out. Yeah. Although we did have chat point out the other day when we were looking up the wiki that pump jacks store a thousand oil in the pump jack. That's well. That's great. They'll fill up, but then. And where the, when then where are they going? Uh, we have a medium right. biter spotted on Team South. Good. At twenty nine percent Evo. That, yeah, that that took a while. I was thinking maybe it was broke. Zeno just fed a ton more. They're thirty three percent now. Yeah. Hey ha and Ugg are now dancing. <laughs> that took a long time. Oh, oh big uh, hey ha is um. So this big is the thing threat. with big throws. Big throws is big threat. Big is throws. big biters. <clears throat> Not big biters, uh -oh. just lots of biters. Yep. Uh, one down. That's a lot of threat eliminated. Good job. They're staying alive. Like, yep. uh, Apart you know, from Bee Gees. Our... Yep. Oh, and bugs down. And <clears throat> Auntie is out with uh, the dragon gums. Just all gums. All gums. The straight walls save lives. Okay. That, that's, that's, that's Team North. A lot of... 17.3%. 17, 17. I know. I think that's the lowest I've seen it. Medium medium biter spotted on Team North. That's. I think it's as low as I've ever seen it. Somebody write this down. Nah, 17. I thought it was 15. No. What's the, what is the number? Oh, in real Europe. factorial numbers, it's way higher. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's not. But <laughs> Does South have oil? Nope. No, I don't. They don't have oil yet. Nope. They have uh, biters. And is down. Dead players. Anti talking about the perimeter. Yeah, they're gonna go water to water to water to water to. All right. Nowhere. <sighs> South has problems. Ken is down. He's coming back. Heha is rotating over to cover. Ken does not have his body. Heha needs get to get it. into that spitter group. There we go. Half we got it. Down. Picked it up. And Heha has to do something about the biters on his ass. There we go. Bugs going out. So that's three players engaged. Uh, not building. And uh, Nephrim's with another throw, 34%. <clears throat> Zeno has Here comes... picked their wall. Yep, he's, he's declared the wall. 
I would say it's worth five grenades to uh, clear it with trees. <clears throat> he's he's chopping. Yeah, I, I would yeah, blow up the trees. No, I he's probably see. complaining because now Nephrim's queued up Steel Axe. <laughs> the, <laughs> oh, yeah, call these trees. <clears throat> 16.6666666% so 16.6 is the is the number okay 16.7 okay. okay thank you warger grenades really need a nerf in this mode no they don't no they've, uh, they've no. already been you'll, nerfed you'll see you'll see uh, so, they they don't they get they lose their effectivity with small with biters are great and, and yep. large Me <laughs> medium biters need two grenade uh, three grenades until you get the explosives upgrade number 1 and then it takes down to two grenades Right. Uh, but they, yeah. they pretty they pretty quickly lose their effectivity. So yeah. Anti's really throwing down those radars everywhere. I think he's scrambling for oil. <sighs> yeah, if they need if they're gonna go blue science, they need more oil. And yeah, what they, they have won't, they won't do it with just those two. Is yeah. not an option. Um, and the big one out here is just, it's just too far north. It's just too far north. But they have started getting all the bits and pieces they need to start getting flamethrowers up and running. Yeah. Uh, so there'll be an assembler there, three inserters, one output, done, flamethrowers automated. Hey, how's doing the straight wall? Hey, the straight wall has covered them time and time again. Wall management, well, it played a factor in last last week's game. Yeah. How how you manage wall is is how you is kind of how you manage your time. <clears throat> well, north they've put the wall f a lot further out. So if Andy gets an attack on the east and on the west, he can't get from one side to the other. There's just no right. way. It's a it's a big area to cover. Yeah. Oh, he Heha's down. Heha is um down down. <sighs> Guns are out of ammo. Ugg is pulling them away. Ugg must not have fish. No, does he, does he still have... Okay, armor time. Uh, Heha has nothing. Uh... So they've left one biter on these uh, three empty turrets. Ugg's running right past them. Yeah, it's fine. He only needs a little bit. Oh, he has got body back. Okay, so they do have all heavy armor on C4. Or that they have another attack going on. Mm. First flame turret is up and running. It is connected. Yep, that is to get rid of that forest. Zeno's just wishing oh, a biter yeah. would just wander in front. Just please, one biter, just <laughs> yeah, one. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think you're right. Mm. Oh, look, now he's got grenades. There he goes. Okay. Now, we know from previously, like, one layer thick wall is is plenty when dealing with small biters. Uh, two layers would be better. By the time you get to B, uh, mediums and bigs, one layer is not enough. It's like five, it's, six, It's definitely seven, not enough. Yeah. Eight layers. Uh, he's yeah. very quickly, very quickly going to need to put another layer there. So, I'm noticing once again that attacks, at least on the north uh. side, are preferencing from the right. The south side as well, because I've just laid down and had another break. You just, oh, he's down. Yeah, just, just having a nap. It's fine. Ken going through the wall. So, again, this is another match where I, I'm definitely seeing the biters are preferencing attacking on the right hand side. Oh, and he's got his wall. He's decided that's the point. Does that hit that, that 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 lake? It does, just. And he's got an air gap. <clears throat> yeah, air gap won't hurt. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I know they're going for the radars, but... Radars are half decoy, half target practice, half early warning system, half... Yeah, bit of everything. That's 200% of halves if you're scoring at home. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of everything. Four halves. Yeah. It's a lot of halves. Uh, or is it not enough? 
Okay, so Zeno's set up fire, so fire should cover the north. He's thickening up the wall. North should be fairly well defended. If Anti can get fire down to about here, that should cover that section. But that is a lot of pipe. Just good math. Just good math. Yeah. Rounds play enemies on the flank that actually track uh. biters. Waves still no. Yes. Uh Zeno is dealing with a problem on the left. It's a sizable problem. I think he's good. One grenade, two grenade, three grenade, four grenade, five, six, seven, and two bullets. Now the trick is to get a flamethrower here. This is where you want a flamethrower. That'd be a great spot to put one in, I agree. <clears throat> He was caught, killed by a small spitter. That was heaven. Oh, and Ugg was, was killed Two by Ugg. Two down. And Heha, uh, Ken is out of position to help. <clears throat> the straight wall is holding. They're going out the wall. They are they are literally leaving the base and going outside the wall. Right there. Look at that. Yeah. <clears throat> that's special biters. Special yep. biters with careful programming. Mm. South are dying quite a lot. They are. They are. They are struggling a little bit. On a side note, they did get the other half of their green science build up and running. And they have like a thousand green packs sitting in storage. Ugg Ug ran back to the four uh, turrets that he had stocked with ammo. They are not, they're missing, as it turned out. <clears throat> hey, how's down? South is back alive and doing okay. And oh, there, there's one on the silo. Yeah, there's a thousand hit points oh. they didn't need, and a couple of labs they didn't away. need. Okay, Ken's caused the pause. I think they just need a breather. I think they just need a gap. They just need to breathe. Okay, so South needs to pick up their science packs, throw them, put a repair pack on the silo. It's missing a thousand hit points. Thousand hit points oh. are important. <clears throat> I don't right. think we've seen this before. The fourth is a sub. They're gonna swap in Gabriel, and Heha is gonna be uh, gonna be ah. gonna swap in for the coach. Okay. Too much lag. And they also have biters in the base. In base. That makes sense. <clears throat> this is why we have a spare. Hmm. He's peeing a location. Would you prefer to play on S1? Oh, move the server. Okay. Oh, mm. damn. No. Okay. So the criteria for which we offer the new server needs to be very slim. <clears throat> needs to be very slim. Zoro, thanks for that sub, man. Uh, man. I, I don't think I have an objection with having... Like, you, you're much better off to try a different server no. with the same players. No. Oh, I think when, so. When, when there's nine players, or say, we'll just call it ten, ten players, and only one of them is having issues, and we're from all over the world, and some are right next to the server, and some are in Australia, and there's no no issues with them, but only one person, then we switch, then we don't switch servers. I agree. Okay, yep, I agree. All so, right, so Ugg's back into it. And Ken Over's gone. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> he got two grenades. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, Pete. Sorry, what? I read it. Right. I was crashed between vehicles when a driver backed out of a parking lot, crashed me between his pickup and my work truck. Dude. Sue them. Sue them for everything that it's worth. Uh... Uh, nice copy. I uh, will maybe park my car more in a direction that I'm safe behind it. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 oh, we only got off three grenades that time. Okay, Gabrielle in the match has some grenades. One, two, three, four, five. Ken for the savior. No, he's in with a machine gun. Oh. And Gabrielle's down. 
And Ken is Ken. almost down. Oh, oh, okay. So south is safe for right this second. Nephrim's gonna have to deal with the problem on the left. Uh, Zeno has fire. Yep, that is slowly gonna deal with all the biter problems. Um, or less, I'm on time. Nephrim's many grenades. One, two, three. Now, if now to to the commentary, if there's more than one player, maybe two or three having issues, 20, 30 percent of the players, then we may suggest a server. But for one person, no, that's clearly a local issue. Yeah, look, yeah, I I agree. One person is is it's bad luck. Bad luck. Yeah, should should not have should have offered the swap. That's fine. Yeah, no problem with that. But offering the server shouldn't shouldn't be an issue. Shouldn't be a thing unless there's unless it's widespread. Okay, that's it. So South has still got a thousand green packs. They still have a silo that's down a thousand hit points. They have two belts worth of iron coming to here, being shoved into one single belt and doing nothing. Somebody needs to drag some underground through there and at least have that belt of iron do something. Are they short on gears? No, no, okay. Uh, I don't see a corpse there. Oh, look, there's the. Uh, oh, there's the raw he crude. has corpse. There's he has corpse. Belt of iron is also feeding their steel spells. Like, yeah, but no iron gets there. And there's no point expanding it if it doesn't get any iron. And it's meant to run both of them and it doesn't do shit. And that's their flamethrower source and like, yeah. Alright, Ken is still dealing with biter problems left, right and centre. Uh, north is, um, I don't know. Rearranging their miners. Yeah. Have they fixed their coal problem? Not really. Probably not going to get any uh, until these two chests. If those two chests fill up, then they'll have enough iron. But that's a long way off. They have two belts right there. They just need somebody to drag the extra belt with the underground yep. through the red red inserters, and we're done. Yep. Yep. Bypass it. Yeah. There Same with like this belt, this one belt that's missing. Um, like why is green science stacked up on a belt? Oh, maybe there's a dead belt there. Maybe yeah. we should fix it. Coach. <clears throat> this, this this is one of the things I do like about this particular course of biter battles that they have a coach so they can see these things. Because like when you're in the middle of it, you overlook these it. things. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. We get it. We get it. We get it. Right. Yeah, I had to deal with Clown Town. Like I, I get it, hundred percent. I get it. But I having a coach that. means that they can go, hey, belt here, now. Yep. Uh. Same with, like, you know, they got to burn a city that's not burning. They don't have a coal source anymore for it. Oh, actually, no, they do have two boxes of coal up here. You know, their military build is missing copper, so it's not making military science packs. I don't know if they need them. So this is this is the re this is the danger here of having such a big wall and putting it way out there, is they broke through the wall because Anti was up here, building wall, and he had to run all the way down there. Now, <clears throat> now they have yeah they they need to wall. get the flamethrowers all the way around the wall. Yeah, if they get that, it'll be way better, and that's what he was, he was doing. He was up here putting the uh, flamethrowers. And Xeno needs to put one flamethrower there facing west. Mm. Yep. Uh, just one one facing to the left there. Yep. I agree. Yeah. yeah. Makes a big yeah. difference. Yeah. Big walls are not a big deal when once you get the uh, flamethrowers. But uh, until then... Oh, I, uh, I, I, I picked the them all up. He picked them all up. 1128 to answer your question. Why? Uh, no. Yeah. Shorty, shorty. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Good. We play in Biter right. battles, a, a Biter battles again sometime. I recently, recently, two months ago, did a match with Clown Town. It's on the YouTube channel. Check out YouTube. Yeah, you shouldn't. It you was the, Clown was so proud of it. He uploaded it before I had a chance to upload my copy, and then deleted it. <sighs> so proud of this this moment. Yeah. yeah. 100% deleted I just went, it. I just went, no, it's not going to happen. I just deleted it. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right, there you go. Uh, east side of North is now is now defended. Yeah, defended so far. Yep. So the thousand packs that went in did ten percent Evo. Look at what's going on out here. These guys just hanging out. They are. Stuck. That's live. They're there's they're over a uh, they're they're in within a radar range, right? Because the radar is down. Radar is here. It's uncovering them. Uh. They're live. They're not corpses. Look, they got hit points. Crazy. <clears throat> it's probably the the uh, effect of the server swap. Uh, no, because this server just paused, and then unpaused. It it has nothing to do with server swap. Oh, maybe. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Zeno feeding 211. 46 percent. Evo, four more to get to large. Okay, so don't nope, mutagen. Uh, thousand packs did twelve percent Evo. Two hundred military did two percent. Yeah. Right. Gabrielle is definitely in combat mode, dealing with biters. Couple of time. Problem is, we've got medium biters and medium biters. Medium spitters need two grenades, and the biters need three grenades. So Gabrielle better have a lot of gr a lot of grenades. Just oh. lost the radar. Uh, no oh, I'm gonna burn the power poles. That's pretty well dealt with. Did I get a reply? I didn't say reply. No. Okay. Oh, like anti, cop this. Oh, it's all small yep. balls. It's, it's all smalls. He'll Whoa! be fine. Oh! Thank you very something. Five Boom. months Entropy. in. How are you doing? Go. Look at that. Yeah, and he stands in the middle, scoops them up. Come on, boys. Pay attention yep. to me. Oh, I'll shoot he's gonna shoot face. at him. Yeah. He shoots him, not not to kill him, but to drag him backwards. There you go. That's how to do it. Three biters. <clears throat> Law Gamer 89. Thanks for uh, support, my buddy JD. That was loudish? Yeah, because I zoomed in. Hmm. Relax, boys, and chill uh, <laughs> until our friends ate the silo. Yeah. Alright, so South is getting their wall in. They have their oil tank, which has 3k oil, which is not they a lot. Enclosed, they enclosed the, the oil tank. Yay. Good job. Oh, and they have flamers. They have flamers. They start at the top corner. So South has fire. And they've opted for... Anti is, uh... Uh-oh. Is he going to ignore that that breach in the wall that's about to happen? Yeah, it's, it's over here. fine. It'll, it'll take care of itself. Yeah, they're just going to work their way to the end of the wall. Bit by bit. They'll work their way down to Anti slowly. I don't think so. They're going to split into two, and, and half of them are going to go to the base, and half of them are going to go down the wall. Look, 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 look. Some stragglers split off, but the, the rest hey, of them look. work their way towards yeah. Anti. So you come oh, over and, and just give them some grenades. They cut power. Yeah, power getting cut is just going to happen all the time. Oh, they're, they're running faster, but they're just going to catch up. It's one of Phoenix's jobs, I think. Is Hey, Auntie, before that happens, uh, you probably want to... It finally happen. finally happen. They, they might have done... He, to be fair, they Phoenix might have said something and Auntie probably may have dismissed him. That could have totally happened. I think fire replied to you. Uh... Sulfur and uh, sulfur and blue science coming up for Steel Eggs. Unless you do a research. Chat. This is the only match for today. Uh, so tell us. So tell you. This, 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 this. Yeah. Fire on, uh, on south. Good job. 48%. Evo after a 139 throw. So, Tui, so uh, Tui confirms my my suspicion. Phoenix uh, told Anti, Anti ignored. What's up, Tui? How you doing? Uh, Anti does what Anti does. <laughs> all right. Gabriel all in all, not that big a deal. is putting out an extra set of walls just, just to hold the biters back a little bit further. Somebody. 
the air gap system is <coughs> working for the north. Anti is uh, proving Clown Town straight wall theory does not exist by putting in some nice 45s. He's got some 45s. <clears throat> yeah. Tui has a uh, special place in my heart because his was the first videos I ever watched to start speedrunning to say how do we how does one do a speedrun? So that's how that's how old is. This is how old Cloud Town is, right? That's how old uh, of a uh, player Tui is. I mean, he could have been to start playing when he was eleven, but he was still great. <laughs> hey, 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 when you're eleven years old, you got a reaction time. That's when you play the first yep. person shooters. It's <laughs> when you gonna actually get the kills in. Mm. I remember that. That was the. I remember that, Michelle. That was the gates when he set up the gates for that long match against Nephrims. Oh yeah, that was. That, that was, was amazing. Ridiculous. It was. It was a four-hour match. I had to leave and come back for that one. It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. It was great. And it was rain. Rain. Rain and I started, and then he. He. Well, I. I might have started. Then he joined, and then Rain took over for about an hour, and I came back. <clears throat> And then uh, I saw the gates go up, and I thought, that's it. He's the greatest. Oh, I'm, I'm done so arguing. <laughs> He's the greatest player of all time. I'm done arguing. I'm done talking. I'm done I'm done discussing this. Okay, so South has gone with the Dragon Dragon Gum Assembler. Uh, funnily enough, it's not being fed directly off the miners. So, <clears throat> yes. Uh, oh, South's got... They're having a few fire problems. Yep. Like the fire's everywhere, but the biters are on the wrong side of the fire. Yep. So we're definitely at the point, uh, like 48% Evo, they're definitely at the point of every single time you get an attack, you just need to put down another layer of walls. Just Pretty double much. them up, triple them up, <clears throat> quadruple. All the walls. All of them. And especially with uh, larges, large biters coming in 1.7 Evo, you're going to need like five layers deep. I mean, and the rest, and the rest. I mean, tell me I'm wrong, but probably five layers when the large ones start to come after you, they get through wall quick. So, yeah, the discharge defense and the gators in the in the in the gates. I'm not sure what this that is was, meant to be uh, doing. I'm really not sure amazing. what this build's meant to be doing. Holding pipe. <clears throat> the, this whole section. Unless, unless it is for purple science, maybe? No, purple steel heavy. Blue. Blue? You reckon? Engines. Pipes and engines, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yep. So the green right there is going to be for uh, for the red. Red circuits. Red circuits, yep. right? Pipes are going to be for engines. They're probably going to have some other belt around there. There's gears, right? And it's a one to two, which is engines, right? One, yeah. one pipe, two, uh, two gears. Yeah. So you'll see red circuit, red circuits come up over here, and engines come up over here, and probably do a direct feed to blue. Definitely need some more copper because you'll have to have some more copper for. Uh, for the red circuits, they take the uh, the coils. Uh, so that's they put I don't think another... they're going to need that much more copper. Because they so the have... amount of copper that goes into uh, into the greens as well as the uh, the reds, and, and they're doing they're smart here. They're buffering the greens because I don't I don't know that this build is going to hold a full line long term. Well, Whoa, JD, did you know we could buy some followers? What really? Yeah, someone, some bot just... Oh, know. hang on, hang on, hang on. But do the followers watch the content? Do they subscribe? Because <laughs> if I can buy subscribers, then we're talking. I'm, hmm. I'm sure they can. Hey, Sassy, how you doing? Good morning, dude. Alright, so Andy started doing it. He got an attack. He's just going to double up the wall. Three layers thick. No air gaps, no nothing. Let's just whack down another layer of wall. Um... Obviously, there was a small attack around that flamethrower, but you know, it's, it's probably dealt with now. Um, yeah, I don't think that Nephrims needs to double up his copper, because half the copper build is not running. Right. Check out, uh, well, it will it will once they pull it, pull it, plug in reds. Look at that debug message. Real number of players by one, one spice. Saw that happen one before. Yeah. 
Okay, here we go. We see Zeno coming through, uh, running all the way Gabri out. Gabrielle is apologizing for killing wolves. Wow. Such a nice person. My choose the wolves deserve it. He's Canadian. Buy some subs for $4.99. You can do that during special Twitch events. They're official events, so you can get away with it. Subtober. Uh, still actually looking for oil? Yeah, the problem is... Like, Xeno's gone for miles. He hasn't found it. He needs a lot of undergrounds to get it all the way back. That probably explains the the, 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 the crafting 1.3k. <clears throat> and what Phoenix... Yeah, and what Phoenix was saying is that gun right there is probably going to melt your pipe and your power. Yeah, Always. probably. Yeah. He's probably saying, hey, you may want to adjust that when you come back. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Stella Sheety. Yes. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to JD Ruins Names. Every name, one at a time. Yeah, Xeno is just looking for oil down the bottom of the map, where it's safe from attacks. <sighs> Yeah, oil was top left. It's what we're not. They're not going top left. It, no, that's top right out with the buyers. Top, top left's too dangerous. This that's, that's one, death. they yeah. could possibly get away with. Yep, I agree. Uh, I'm I'm down with that. But uh, Zeno, th I think, I think they can go out really far to the west here, and uh, and if they get one or two dots, I think they'll be fine. They'll get some. Oh, here we go. We're gonna watch uh, melting. Maybe melting pipe and melting uh, power. Uh, we're going to watch a breach in the wall. Oh! Not quite. 23 hit points left for one wall. I oh, don't. They're through. They found a gap. And That's no good. Anti's on, anti's on it. Oh, he's close enough. Okay, cool. So, it's time to start doubling up the walls. Oh, Zeno's gone north. He's gone north. He's wandering around. He's looking for that oil. Yeah, it's not a bad spot to go north. And he put down two radars, and his power line has been cut. Oh, uh, his power... Oh, yep. right there. Yep, but he's waiting for a gnaw. Tick, 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 tick. Yeah, look, an anti's running it right along the coast. There's no reason not to run along the coast. They're cheap. Look at that. Right. Double it up. South has got flamers. And he's going to be out of position. Oh. He's way far out of position. Look look up here. If they get through, that's bad news bears. And Nephrims is closer. 204 uh, on, that hit, on hit points for that wall. Uh, there's definitely some unhappy wall. <clears throat> it's, we're down to one tile. One tile right there. Yep. Mm. Oh, look, Zeno found it. Jackpot. Sassy. Look at there. Boom. Oh, wow. That's a lot. Yep. Okay, yeah. now is the time to put down the pumps to help them get all the way down. Right? That's There's no no discussion now. you got to use the pump to get it all the way back. Uh, you don't have to. It can just sit in the pipe and slowly slowly go back. Slowly, yeah. Uh, you put, uh, see, see that flamer that I mentioned that they wouldn't have put right there? Nobody put one right there. <clears throat> that could have scored that that attack. Uh oh, uh oh, they're uh -oh. through the wall. Oh, 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 here it oh, comes. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, bad. Uh, most and are on fire. Oh, they got lucky. They uh, they died coming through. Super lucky. Damage over time. Yep, damage over time got them. Okay, and anti uh, Anti's hustling. No, okay, so Anti's seen it. He's going to go fix it. Nephrams has plugged in for advanced oil. Okay, so he's got oil tank one. Getting pumped into oil tank two. Ah, oh, they've been smart this time. So we're going to see a little bit of circuitry go on that pump, I bet. Where? Dang it. That, 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 that. Oh, hey, 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 easy. I peaked it. Easy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll hit a, they'll do a uh, logic because they, they got, they got caught on that. 
right? Yeah, and like keep 5k oil in the oil network for dealing with all the other problems. Right. At the moment, it's it's like whatever accidentally slides to the side and accidentally ends up in the oil refineries, that's what we'll use for right now. Uh, Look, Auntie's going to try and put a... Uh... Put a flame turret on that on the island. You watch here. Yeah, look, he's looking at it. He's thinking about how to do it. Take his radar. Yeah, there you go. Okay, radar goes down there. Yeah. Yep. There you go. I just plug that back in the main network. Yeah. There we go. Here you go. And Zeno, two pump jacks. Four, six. Eight, nine, ten, ten pump jacks. Shit, that's a lot. Nah, of work. he won't. He won't need to. Uh, there's more than enough from what they need. They can't. They won't be able to get all, you know, forty of those to the same pipe. So reliably, all the way over. So, just Zeno found eight oil. or nine of them. He's fine. Yeah. And Ugg did the exact same thing. He went for the one that we said not to go for. <laughs> Damn. Well, it may work. It may work out. It is. Look, I, it's, I, I think that one's probably safe. It might be. Um, we'll see. It's probably to your point. It's probably the pathing along here will determine whether or not it's successful, right? The, if your power lines are cut or if the pipes uh, cut. Or the, the, the the power lines and the, and the pipes going to get cut. They're going to get cut all the time. The question is. Are they going to get close to the base or further away? If they're close to base, it's not too bad. Like, if it's taken out by, in the case of Norse team, if it's taken out by your bottom flamethrower, again, it's a frustrating, but that's fine. Right. It's going to happen. If it's cut, same as it was last time over here, that's a pain. 49.6% or still not too uh, large biters. Yeah, because... Um, How much does uh, North have in their... In their uh, 140 here. military, a poop on the ground, and uh, yeah. See, look, Neframs is focusing on the blues pretty Red, heavily 300 here. 300 so. green and another 100 military, so 250 military, 300 red and green. Yeah, they're focusing pretty heavily on uh, blue here, so they haven't thrown. I would say, I would say, throw it because that 0.4 could make a big difference. Oh yeah. Mm. And has anyone gone for less huge energy distribution might fix a few of these problems as in metal power poles no or big power poles no no are yep. they done researching uh. and grenade damage 20% they should they might should go for that it's actually cheap that's probably yeah worth going uh and and maybe tool belt. If they hundred a hundred red green at this point would be worth a tool belt, I would say. Oh uh, look, uh, extra rows of inventory. Chat was just saying um, steel power poles. Steel power poles using a large power pole to bridge this gap to get your power out. Not a bad Agree. idea. Not a bad idea. Yep, and get it away from the wall. That's not a bad idea. It doesn't help your pipeline. Doesn't help the pipe, but uh, good. It, it does clear that wall of, uh, the, of the risk. They do have a little bit more hit points than the wooden ones. Okay, so Ag has brought oil to here, which is being eaten as we speak. Gabriel doing a nice job on their on their front and putting in a, a layer of wall. That was yeah. uh, that's really good. What the what the wall does is there is the two. There it is. Here it comes. Boom, fifty one and a half. There you go. There's the feed. Yeah, and he's gonna go grab all the red and green as well. He's gonna empty out the labs. Yep, he's grabbed everything. Boom, boom, boom. Fifty-four. Yep. Oh, Zeno's being greedy. Super greedy. He's not going for a little bit of oil. He's going for a lot of oil. Oh, he's gonna do it all. How about that? I don't think that's necessary, really. I look, at, at the end of the day, currently the pipes at a hundred of a hundred. Yeah, right. The, the pipes are going to be the limiter limiter here, not the number of pump jacks. So he's, I don't, I don't think this is going to do me a ton of good. But it's kind of gangster though. Uh, the, 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 the oil sit in the pipe currently. You want to start running it back. Advanced material processing. Ah, uh, that's steel furnaces. Okay. Mm. 
Well, we crossed an hour seven. <clears throat> South is starting in blue. Why are they making plastic? They're starting on blue. So both teams pipes are going are, for blue sites. Pipes are going to be an issue. I mean, well, the point is, is that they'll get. I mean, can you? How much? How many pump jacks worth can you fit through a through a pipe? Uh, potentially, because the way fluids work, potentially. Uh, 100 oil per tick. That's 10 per second with the thing and the deal. Realistically, about a, 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 a about 100 oil. Uh, about a thousand oil. Thousand oil 10, per second. Percent oil. Realistically, about a thousand oil per second. That's, that's... Uh, okay. Yeah. But it's not, what I'm saying is, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be the pipes that's gonna limit. It's, it's gonna be that, it, it's gonna lag in the pipes. It's gonna be sitting in the pipes. It's not gonna uh, be. It, 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 eventually the pipes will fill up. Once the pipes are full, then it won't lag. Uh, so, you, you, you can see Zeno is, is putting down pipes now. And all, at the moment, all the pipes have about 30 oil in them. Oh, he put down a whole shit ton of tanks. All right, but the tanks should empty. Oh, he didn't put down a oh, radar. Oh, look at there. He didn't put down a he radar. He did not put down a radar. He didn't put down a pump either. Uh, two hours, Snowso, is when the uh, is when the thing hits. Yeah. Two hours game time. Not stream time. Game time. Right. Uh, many biters on fire. More biters on fire. Gabrielle is just thickening up the walls bit by bit by bit. Gabriel doing a good job. Yeah, uh, great as, job. As a sub. Great job. He's doing Catches. good. Catch is those walls need to get a lot thicker. And here we go. First sighting of uh, large biters. And there's a lot of them in here. Zeno still with the pipes. Uh, Zeno. Come on, game. No? Okay, fine. Give me... Give me... Oh my god. Yeah, Xeno is just crafting nothing but underground pipes. Yep. And he didn't pre-craft. Oh, there's a tank. Okay. Oh, that's anti. No, Xeno. And more. He has multiple flamethrowers on him, okay. Uh, uh. That order. Alright, Warger. Would you... Would you... Put a pump here? Uh, I think the answer is yes. On, on, on Zeno's pipes, I would. Yeah. Uh, Look how far it is away. I would, but considering, like, it's already got 9k oil in it. Right, uh, or on the out outset of this, because now we're just gravity feeding all that. That's going to get consumed real quick. Yeah, but it's going to get topped up real quick. They've got, what, 1,500% yield? Pump at the base. But yeah, but they never put pumps anywhere. And I'm saying put it at the intake at the base is fine also. Watch. We'll get all the way in here. Sorry, I'm... Right, look, we're pulling oil here. We need a, an intake pump into this tank. Done. Automating more pipe? Yeah, look, automating it's not a bad idea. The catch is you can't you can't move whilst it's 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 making the pipe. So Ken is fighting with biters left, right, and center, uh, trying to get out to the same oil patch that Xeno grabbed. Zeno has a problem <laughs> that he hasn't seen yet to his north. Oh, um. He may get out of that. Kennel or Zeno? Zeno, I'm looking at it. Yeah. That worm, the worm might. Oh, no, he's good. He's good. They ignored him. He's yeah, for the bigger him. oil, another pump pulling him into base is worth it. Let's see if they do it. I always say put a pump in there. Uh, all right. I'm going to uh, be back in a minute because that might be my card. Right. right on. So I, I would just say is, look, do you want the oil here or do you want it in your base? 
Let's put a pump on the intake into your base and pull it in. As much as you can. Five wall deep should be no problem for these guys. <clears throat> No large biters. As a temporary buffer, right. Yes, he did, but let's pull it into the base. He is crafting uh, nothing but pipes. He's probably out of iron pretty soon because that's a lot of iron for the, uh, for the underground pipes. Maybe. <sighs> For those of you who are keeping up with my uh, saga, I did cancel my uh, LSAT test. This was supposed to be this morning. Canceled it yesterday evening. So I started feeling real bad. So... <clears throat> so February one is all uh, is all hit uh, is all closed off so the next one will be in March and it's the last week last week of his deadline is February 2nd so I put a reminder on uh, January 31st to uh, register alright what are we registering for and who's dead yet so North got their oil hooked up, because I just got back. And yes, it's my carpet. So I've got 15 minutes. Hey, Phoenix. Yep. Oh, shush, cat. Open the door yourself. So with the giant pipeline in and no pumps, which means, yeah, we're not dragging it. It's going. Yeah, spectator view. So the first tank... Still has 8k oil in it. It is draining. Oh, look here. <clears throat> okay, they've done well. They've got a full freaking tank here. And the second tank... Oh, the, the, the tanks back at the oil supply have like 12k, 13k each. Yeah. Right. What I would like to see is an inlet pump pushing into this one now. Yeah, I, 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 I would too. But, definitely. Right. Right. But, look, it's filling up pretty nicely now. And at least you have a one you have a one way valve, right, to where it's not going to slosh back. You're not going to lose any. Uh, up pumps, the base pulling as effective as pumps out in the field, pushing pretty much, pretty much. But one of the uh, is doing quite a lot of work. We're right. Well, one of Steel Axe's losses was because they didn't do this. They didn't control how much how much uh, was for their oil and how much was for their defenses. And so they consumed all of their all of their crude oil for petroleum gas, bankrupted their defense oil, and then the next thing they know, they have an army of biters coming through their wall. With no, these are out of fuel altogether. So their answer to one of their losses is to fix it with these two tanks. This tank, anything. Is, so this is this pump prioritized. It's a one-way valve. If it goes past this pump, it's all defense. If it's on the other side, the net bottom side of this, it's all blue science, right? Yeah, which is a great way of doing it. It's a little bit extreme. Done. Uh, right. That's how they solve. That's how they solve the problem. One of their losses was was strictly because of that, and that was it. They were doing they were doing great, uh, right up until the point they uh, they had a breach in the wall. Okay. So, like I said, I got like fifteen minutes. Yeah. 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 Uh, so. North has oil. Has oil, it's plugged in, or good to go. South has oil, but it has no power. Because it's missing that one power pole there. Doesn't touch that one power pole there. That's all it's missing. Oh, cat. Yes, you. Sit up in the chair, be quiet. Don't give me that look. Mm. South of 55%, North has bugger all. Uh, oh my god. 
South has 2,000 packs. Easy. Waiting to be thrown. Easy 2,000 packs. Hey ha is probably uh, was probably on that duty. I would I would wager, right? Uh, Ken is plugging in their oil. He's got to get that power pole. Has to get that power pole. They're done. Yeah, through all the power poles at the problem. Oh um, yeah, two thousand, two thousand, uh, two thousand green science, no problem. Yeah, easy, easy. So we got sulfur, we got plastic. It's wandering around here. It's splitting off the plastic there, which is making red circuits, which is making uh, blue packs slowly. Hello, my and friend. Stay a while and listen. Blue science. Uh, How did he die? Quasadazar? Quasadazar? Fire? Quasadazar, thanks for that follow also. Yeah, thank you for Yeah, following. he must have wandered through his own his own fire. Something. Modules, productivity modules, logistics two. I think they did, Predator. Oh, they're going for <laughs> purple science. Good. South's going for purple science. Holy no, shit. No, they're just gonna put in they're gonna put in a railway uh, network. Nah, nah, you don't need problems for that. Uh, yeah, somebody made a boo-boo. Somebody made a boo-boo. A significant boo-boo. What do you play with fire? Yeah. Maybe enough to get to 50%. Nah, not even close enough to get to 50%. 2,000 is going to get them <clears throat> maybe 10%. Yeah. Nah, not the uh, four or five. Max. Oh, it's 2,000 green. Yeah. It, it, four or five percent. Uh-oh. Look. That's weird. Hey, look, at, look at their oil. Yeah, look, 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 look. We see one of these magical things. It's called a pump. Hey, look at there. Yay. Okay. But and look, it's, it's cut off. <laughs> it's cut, cut off, off the, the, flame. Uh, the flame turret. Yeah, it should be empty. Well. And there's no power. There's no power to their oil again. Yeah, it's dead power poles. Out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, actually, they can see that spectator view. My bad. Yep, yeah, these power poles are dead. So Ken has to go for a run and a half to fix that problem. Yeah, he was out there looking at it already. And Ken has turned off their oil into blue science. Those miners just hanging out, buzzing around. Yeah, it, it must be the, 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 the water and the landmass, and they just get confused. Something. And Ken is Ken is um, ignoring the biters that are chewing on him. They're busted somewhere else too, because oh there it is, finally. Now the now it's starting to fill. Okay, so where's their tank? Their tank is here. <clears throat> now from emptying out uh, the build. Uh, it's not really counting up. Pump pumping? Pump is pumping. So South is getting thirty oil per second out of their yield of seventeen seventeen hundred percent. North. North has 700 to throw, ready to go. Fuck. Plus yeah, have South is green. <clears throat> out of oil green. temporarily. Well, the, the, uh, they've plugged they it in, any... but because of the pipeline and everything else, and however many pump jacks they got out there, let's go for a wonder. See, what's crazy is these flame turrets and these pump jacks. <laughs> <clears throat> but we're not getting a whole ton of attacks on oh. the west side. See, so you can't see it, Clown Town. But uh, you know that that, 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 that that pipe build that South built? The, the, the oil yep. build South built? Uh, I'm looking at it. You're looking at it on spectator view? No. No? Okay. Uh, you, just, you just pinged it, though. Did I? No. Tell me about it. Uh, four pump jacks actually plugged into the oil line. The other one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 
I'm missing one pipe. Oh, mercy. Yeah. And they're out of power again. Power line got broke. At yeah, it's base. probably cussing. At base. Oh, some, 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 some spitters just took out every pipe and every power pole all along. Yeah. 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 Rough haul. It's a rough haul for self, man. Yeah, they just don't have any luck with the biters and just them avoiding things. The little bit of oil that they have is is coming in from uh, from these two. That's direct. Yeah, the pipe is is there. They've got a pump to buffer. Yeah, but and, the tank is uh, hovering around like 80, 90 oil all the time. Right. Yeah, it's enough to fill. It's enough to fill all the uh, all the uh, flamers. Yeah, it's, fl it's all the flamers. Doing a great job of filling the flamers, but it's not really getting anything past that. Yeah. Meanwhile, North has picked up extra oil. They have one blue science build. And I'm pretty sure they're about to build a second one. Here we go. 24 blue science is on the, on the mark. What the hell? Oh my god. Uh, Nephrims is about to put in a second tank for oil. Oh no. They've swapped over to advanced oil. Holy shit. Yep. <clears throat> So they've swapped over to advanced oil. They're about to, and this is a dangerous move now that fluids don't mix. I think they're about to start taking light oil and pushing it out to the flamethrowers. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Look, that's what Nephrims is going to do right now. They got to do something with it. Yeah. Yep. They just did it. They just did it. They had to empty it out. All to, they had to empty it all out. So right. Because every you, you, yeah. So the pipe now has light oil in it, but every flamer still has oil in it. Yep. So what has yeah. to happen is that flamer needs to use up all its oil, and then only when it gets down to zero can it get an injection of light oil. Right. Because you they, can't mix fluids. It will hang out on these right here. There's one at 50. 45. Hopefully the fluids will be there. Yeah, they're, they're, they're in, the, in the pipe, they're in the tank, the tank's got 2.8k in it. Now, what the hell they're doing with the uh, with the heavy oil, I don't know. I don't see anything, uh... Oh, wait, wait, wait. They're gonna have to crack it. Yeah, they're cracking it. Yeah, Nephrims is cracking it down. Oh, there we go. Yep, crack that, move that in the light oil as well, you're good to go. Yeah, two machines should be should be good. Oh yeah, they've got go. a tiny, really, really yeah. tiny oil build. Uh, a couple of oil flamers that uses factories so you can withdraw from them. Uh, you, the, the only thing you could do is physically pick up the flamethrowers. And when you pick up yep. the flamethrower, it would try and pull the 100 oil that's in the flamethrower and put it in the pipe. Because the pipe already has light oil in it, it wouldn't. It would just disappear into the ether. Yeah, pick it up, pick it up, put them right back down. Yeah. That's the best way to do it. Or just wait for it to run out. When it runs out, you'll have a moment splutter where it's got nothing in it. Yeah, well, it'll stop, and then it'll... And then it'll right fill, back. and then start going again. All right, so I got my mouse on one of them. 10, Here. 5, 3, 2, 1, 0, yeah, and then fill straight back up. Boom. Yep, there you go. And, you see, and you'll see uh, they have a moment where they go to zero. They go to um, no, few, no uh, ammo. They'll have the yeah. ammo flash. And then they fill right back up. There you go. Good job. I Good job. Very dangerous. Battles. Very dangerous. And yes, it does come with a 10%, 10%, 20% boost. Does it say? Yeah. There's yeah, a boost 10%. on the damage. Whereas the heavy oil has a 20% boost, 30% boost. All right. So Ken is running down to South Oil to try and fix their many problems. I have power down here. I have power. I have pump checks. So look at uh, look at what Nephrims is doing. Look at what so... Ken's doing in the south. He's going to put one pipe. One pipe right there. Right there! He's not. He's going to run straight past it. He's going to power oh, up that yeah, one. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see it. And, I see it right and, there. And... Oh, he's going to get more oil. 
Yep, plug that into the same pipes that go nowhere. It's always important to have more pipes and more oil that goes nowhere. Very important. He should he should see that none of these are running, right? A oh, one up is running. He, he should. But we've both been there. Like you get very yeah, yeah, yeah. focused. It's tunnel vision. It's tunnel vision, man. I, I get it. Hey, Stinson. <sighs> Investigating, investigating, processing. Please wait. Please be patient. I oh, know we're still plugging things in. Oh, he did it. He's moving it over. Like, this guy's not plugged in. This guy's not plugged in. Does he see the pipe? Oh. He's looking. Hey! <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna plug in that one, <laughs> and that one, and that one. All right. No, no, we're not plugging in these two. Okay, we're we're not plugging in these three down here. It's fine. It's a feature. All right. And then the pole pump that could and is now pushing 300 oil per second. <laughs> Yay. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's make sure we give uh, Ken some props at the conclusion of the game uh, for uh, troubleshooting award. <clears throat> we were all pulling for him. All right, so water. Remember, uh, Nephrims needs some water right there to uh, crack all that down. Yeah. Right now he's he's got nothing. He's gonna it's gonna stop up. And <coughs> he's also kind of on the uh, on the clock here because if that fills up. Yeah. If that light oil fills up, and he's got then, problems. Uh, he's got problems. <laughs> and I would say they need logic, such that this pump doesn't, or this tank doesn't go empty, right? Ah. Uh, yeah. Look, because, just add a second tank. Add a well, second tank would be my answer. See, they're gonna, they're gonna need, right? They're gonna need a defensive tank and an offensive tank, right? Or in a, in a cracking tank. Right? So look, Auntie's looking at it. He's thinking, oh, we're going to score ourselves again. <clears throat> okay, so Andy's plugged go. in water. Okay, so now Heavy's been cracked. It did get up to 11k. So yep. it's going to fill up the light. Uh, 10k Heavy should give us... I don't know. Another 5k light, 6k light. Seventy percent for the south. Okay, lights Four, going seven. real fast. Heavy's not Four, dropping. Seven. Five thousand threat. Yeah, it's it's a little it's bit. Gonna be a, it's gonna be a big attack. So I'm gonna watch. Uh, keep our eye on south for a big attack coming uh, in. Gabriel's just gonna keep throwing balls at the problem. Balls and fire. So look at. Uh, Oh, South has a South has a blue build. There you go. Yeah, yeah, they've had a blue build for a little while. It turns on and off occasionally, depending on whether they actually have oil. Yep. And they're working Probably on plastics. the decon the oil pipe, and therefore, if it's marked for decon, it doesn't flow. And that's how they're turning the build on and off. But it is sort of hand-fed with coal, and it's 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 super automated. Right. Looking for the plastic build. Oh, way down here. So north is in a definitely a better position, but south has definitely put a lot more into defenses. Like a lot more. Yep. They can probably hold back big biters. <clears throat> With that much fire. Yeah, large is I think I think they're doing pretty well. They, they've doubled up, doubled and tripled up their uh, their flame turrets, which is great. Well, I, I'm wondering, like, it, it, they haven't quite built it lined up, so they could just run flat flamers. There's these little one tile gaps where one group doesn't quite meet the next group. Big attacks coming in. Yeah, they're being dealt with fairly yep. well. No more smalls and probably 70-80% large. 
but they are losing two or three layers oh. worth of walls. So Gabriel. Oh, stood in the spit for just half a second. That's all it takes. Yep. Mm. Yep. Yeah, I don't know whether they're making wall fast enough. Like Armageddon starts at two hours. Stone. Uh -oh. Have they fully tapped the stone? Not quite. Close to. Yeah, so what they're expecting is this will be at zero, right? And it's, it was at 12K. It's down under under uh, eight or nine now. The one that they really got to worry about is the slide oil. If that, if that gets all the way up, see, it's not connected into cracking yet. Do they have, or they do have <clears throat> cracking for light? Okay. And probably what they need to do is pump logic to this thing and say 5K, at least in this tank oh, at 10, all times. 10. How much it, flamer sure. science does each team have? Flamer science? As in upgrades. Uh, Question. North has done refined flammables one and two. South, I'm willing to bet because their hand fed military build has done none. They've done one and two. Oh, they've done one uh, and two as oh. well. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, North did one and two. And South has done yeah, one and right. two as well. Look at something. <clears throat> Looking at a big biter attack. Oh, yeah. There you go. And South is now doing automobiles because they want to get around the hurry. Yeah, they've done one and two as well. There you go. Yeah, I wasn't expecting South to have done one and two. Good. Mm. Coal power That's worth it. The South. it. It would be worth it. Uh, yeah, South has got power maxed. So South needs to start tapping into this mix patch. They have to. They need the stone. They need the coal. Uh, or let's let's pull the grenades off that and then automate that because there's a lot of wasted area in there and there's there's coal to be mined. Yeah, but they need the stone as well. You do, they do need stone. Yep. But they really need the stone for those walls because they're going to start going and bleeding through walls so quickly. Where is their wall build? So the attack on the way is uh, so what? Uh, Morton. Uh, so how does the team win? Uh, very, very simply. Uh, you need to piss off the biters on the other side enough that they come and kill the silo. Uh, the silo. That's it. And the way you do that is each team, if I click this and close that, and it doesn't show up, if I click this, close that. Hey, it has a little, a little gooey up here. It will take science packs out of your inventory and throw them across the river to increase the other team's uh, biter evolution and threat. Evolution is bad. Threat is an indication of how many biters are on the way. And oh. currently, South is dealing with uh, some big biters. 70% threat now, 70% uh, evo now, and 3,000 threat. Which means, in the next minute or so, did... there's going to be giant waves coming to the South. Yep. Check out now. I, I didn't see this pump feeding into uh, feeding into the light oil. Yeah. That That's what does it. Uh, they're gonna, they're preserving a full tank for yeah. uh, for for defense, and then anything else that goes to the west is gonna get cracked in. That's perfect. <clears throat> Zeno sent seventy fish to spy. Yep. <laughs> That's seventy minutes worth of we can see what the other team's doing. Can you really see it for that long? Oh yeah. I think it's shift click. If you shift click the spy thing, it just sends all the fish in your inventory, and each each fish is one minute. Uh, spectator view. Maybe that's a question for Everlord. Yes. Told you so. Crown doesn't believe me. Follow the science. Uh, Peer-reviewed studies. <laughs> to our match, uh, probably whether I can stay to the end is another question. Uh, higher science be gives more by the aggro. Um, if we look at this, 
So automation science pack is worth 10 points, logistics 25, military 80, chemical science 225, production science, which is what North is aiming towards, is 1050, utility science is 1200, and space science is 5000! Yep. And packs Ve have to be Vegeta, thanks for that sub. Yep. Vegeta, thanks for that follow, or that sub. 17, and John Dummy, thanks for that follow. Easy. So this is Big Biters. Zoom in on yourself. One wall gone. Two walls gone? No, just one wall segment. Okay, next attack comes in. Yeah, I don't know why Gabriella is, is so close. I would just be standing back and let the fire deal with all the problems and just come and replace the walls after the fact. Like they can't reach Arma the flamers. Armageddon in uh, 22 minutes. <clears throat> He's throwing grenades. Yeah, the grenades do more damage to the walls than anything else. 200 chemical science. Yep, 200 Ouch. blues. Boom. And it went up 2%. Damn. Yep. Keep going. Uh-oh. This is a thin wall. Yep, and Gabriel knows it. He's got to trap him in. Yep, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, it's inside. It's rough. Oh, good job. Yeah, look, wall management, that was only three wall deep, and uh, the large ones came over. That's not a very common attack point. No. You see that? No, we've seen way uh, more attacks on the right than the left. Again. Yeah. Yeah, east side, it was very, very heavy. West is uh, statistically anomalous. So they hadn't had to put a, a bunch of uh, wall over there. That was probably the first time Gabriel had to run over there since he joined. Brick, steel, purple science. That would be purple science. All right. Uh, North is going for more blue. Definitely. They got a whole another blue build they're about to put up. But we just saw two hundred science packs did two percent, which is massive. Right. Yeah. What they'll what they'll do is now they'll just pace down more more and more and more blue. They won't they won't advance past this. If I had to guess. And Whereas this time... 200 or 170 uh, military did 0.4 compared to 1.5 for the blue. Yeah, what they what they just... what they're Probably their goal is to get them to 90 before Armageddon. Get their opponents to 90 so they get the behemoth biters in. <clears throat> and if blue science could get them to do that, the repeatability of uh, blues is probably... Yeah, uh, if you think about it, you're going to need lots more. Uh, your steel... Blocked. Your steel intake when you shift over to purple and your stone it's intake is it's massive. Massive. So uh you need your a stone, lot of stone. stone is steel. You need a lot of steel. Yep, and uh if you you gotta you gotta really double and triple up the amount of steel and there's not much else to tap. Yeah, I, I don't know why you go purple. Like stone is important for walls. I think yellow is a much better option because that's heavy on I agree. copper. I actually agree. Really heavy on copper. Yep, I agree. Sure, it needs blue circuits and other things, and it's a giant pain in the ass, but yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and maybe, maybe if they they're gonna maybe they're gonna have to do this. Steel Axe may end up doing a garbage build, and you know. Oh, they they they, they, <clears throat> they, they first pioneered the garbage build, the garbage smelter. Yep. And uh, just throw everything into one or two smelting lines, and then feed what they've got going on. <clears throat> Okay, that's solid blue. Blue biters. Everywhere blue biters. Gabrielle is throwing grenades. The problem is the grenades are doing more damage to the walls than they are to the biters. Yeah, no no uh, team has really done, has really tapped a a straight mixed patch yet. And that's that, that might no, be what can they've, support they've, purple. They've, they've gone and grabbed <clears throat> bits and pieces out of the mixed patches, but haven't actually gone in a straight... Let's just run right. a line right through the middle and just grab everything. Defender capsules? Defender capsules? Okay. Okay. I guess. Auntie may have an idea. I don't know. <clears throat> Defenders are not bad. Not bad. 
They don't last that long. Purple doesn't use that much stone. It does. Between electric furnaces and rail, it uses a good amount of stone. LDS yeah. is horrible to make. It is. Yeah. <clears throat> they take aggro and deal respectable damage. Yeah. Defenders are great if you have a be breach. Yeah, true. Yeah, that might be it, is that's their insurance policy against a wall breach, is they just pow, 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 throw some defenders up. How much for uh, uh, Evo for Behemoths? About 90%. About 90%. Uh, it is a long game, uh, uh, Muxy. Can we have more red rush? Yeah, maybe next round. Not this time. Nobody rushed. I mean, they kind of did, but... Nobody hardcore no rushed. One, no no one hardcore rushed. What was the first throw? First throw was uh, so. 18 minutes in. Yeah, usually we see in the, for the green, red and green rushers. I mean, there have been some at like nine. Oh, six, there's been matches that have been over in 18 minutes. Over in 18 minutes, right? But we knew that from Steel Axes that they were they go they don't throw uh, they barely throw anything. South. Yeah. That wall went from eight layers down to one. Uh oh. All right, Heha needs to, it needs needs more to notify drops. him because there's nobody, there's nobody over there. It needs way more flames. So the south side of their wall is doing fine because it's just got a lot of flamethrowers. And it's not yeah, only the damage over one. time, it's the direct damage. On the sides, yep. they don't have that direct damage uh, advantage. All right, Ugg's running. No, he's not going to run over there either. This time they do have room. <clears throat> Steelix does has made themselves some room to uh, to multiply blue many times over. Gabrielle's filling in the hole. Excellent. Filling in more holes. <clears throat> Defender right, yep, Gabe, Defenders Gabe's is the one I was expecting. No, Defender Distraction, Distractor. Forty-five seconds. See three piercing oh, rounds. Red seconds. Oh. Dang, that's a. <sighs> hey, Balinor. Good evening, Jenny. Having a nice, long, relaxing game of bite bells? Yeah. Well, I, I was having carpet installed today, and the carpet guy's here. So I should be bailing right about now. Yeah, I should. I should be laying down. Right about yeah, yeah, clowns got COVID. Like uh, we're, we're dedicated streamers, dedicated. Yeah, you gotta understand. <laughs> uh, they can convert here. the military build to vendors pretty easily. Yeah, they can. But no, uh, South does not really have a military build. This is not what I call a military build. Fifteen minutes till sudden death, and uh, Muxy says it doesn't look like South is going to get much before then. Yep, I, I would agree. That's they got South, Reds. South needs to go solid defense. Just ignore trying to get Evo up and running. They got fifteen percent, uh, fifteen minutes. So, mm. hand-fed military only. <clears throat> mm. Who are we raiding when the apocalypse finish off South? No idea. Not 60 yet. blues in the in the queue versus where's the queue Got for Steel X? And those are so rain. Looks like a fun night. Yeah. Red clown. Let him figure it out. Exactly. Yep. Let me figure it out. Look at this. It's a ghost fast inserter. Look at that. And we're backed up on blue. Oh, that's the best type. Uh, yep. So you know, he's got to hustle over there and throw down a, one blue. Yep, that'll start it, and then all these other these last four or five oh, machines will start Nefram's going again. Just getting poison capsules up and running. I like <clears throat> the poison capsules. I'm a fan. And Anti is just trying to get purple up and running. Yep, figuring I agree. up the walls. They haven't got to large biters yet. <clears throat> Still at forty-two percent on uh, North. Yeah. So, you know, throwing some more. 
North has the poison capsules now. All right, I, all of them are running except for this guy. All right, I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to be back, hopefully within ten minutes. Hmm. Okay, I need to I'll find wait. Out of I'll, right on. I'll wait here. Yeah, poison capsules. I'm a fan. It's uh, it's really good. I I use them for uh, uh, for worms in the uh, in the other game because <clears throat> they they sit there and they just have to you know you throw a poison capsule on them they just they just have to sit there grooving on it right they can't run. Is it me or do you hear human voices? from the biters. Uh, oh, I, uh, King Arthur for Camelot. Uh. I swear I hear human voices going, oh. With real cash money? No. Modular armor. About time. <clears throat> I want to see some con construction bots coming around. Right. You're drunk. Hey, Muesli, how you doing? Factory. Hey, Sauron. Thanks for hanging with me today. I'm uh, not feeling super good. He'll start saying ooh woo. Uh -huh. Hey. Hey, senpai. <laughs> <laughs> 247 thrown to, uh, to south, 79.2%. <laughs> Notice me, Simpai. <sighs> All right, let's look at what they're doing. He's he's moving uh, research around. Mining productivity. Son of a gun. <clears throat> yeah, at some point they'll they sh they could probably do well to hold uh, till one fifty nine. We're at one forty nine, so another ten minutes and then throw it all. Landmines are disabled. It's a UPS. It's a damage versus balance thing, and is and a UPS vision. Bro, through woo. Yeah, they're probably feeling confident. Uh, uh, I think Anti is going for. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. Now they're just doing coal. So they they need coal and they need stone, so they're just grabbing the edge here. Ah, I was hoping for a garbage build. Uh, let me just tell you, Steel Axe and uh, it's not it's not practice that they need to uh, they need to do. Practice is not what they need. I supposed to be the franchise player and we're in here talking about practice. I mean, it, listen, we're talking about practice. Not a game, not a game, not a game. We're talking about practice. Not a game. We're talking about practice, man. I mean, how silly is that? Man? We're talking about practice. So they're really ignoring the walls for uh, for now, which they can <clears throat> with, uh, what is that, eight deep? <coughs> Ten. Ten deep. With uh, medium biters only, they're fine. They're fine to do whatever it is they need to do. All right, so we're still alive. We've got nine minutes. Nine minutes before Armageddon. House carpet guy. Uh, pissed. Very pissed at me. Really? Uh, yeah. So? Um, there's a giant table that was not quite moved out of the room because there's no space oh. for it. And yeah. But he yeah, has got all the tacking around the outside. Okay, yeah, you can't be, uh-oh. Uh oh, yeah, Gabriel's here. Yeah, you can't be putting carpet in with a table in the room. Uh, it's, it's only hang, overhanging like a foot into the room. Is his name, is his name Fritz? You, no. Do you know that? His name is not Fritz, okay, and it's, that's fake news. You work for CNN? <sighs> this should be called Shit Hits the Fan Mode? Uh, it is <clears throat> Shit Hits the Fan Mode. It does. 81%. Empty, so uh, yeah, eighty-one percent. Empty, heavy. 
almost 80%, 90% full on light oil. Uh, and then it'll start heavy, heavy cracking. And then uh, they should, 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 should be empty on petroleum gas. It should all be going to plastic, which looks like it is. Uh, actually, they're out of oil oil. Oh, are they? Yeah. Wait. What the? Yeah. Well, that one, that one's going. The uh, small one. The tank is full. The pipe See, is since full. They, since Zeno didn't send a radar out here, oh, we won't know oh, when the power is oh, uh, So you see the mixed patch below to the right of north? Um, yeah, see this section that's missing on the radar of all the blue dots? Oh, wow. Yeah, they're yes. all missing. <clears throat> all missing, yep. Oh, I'll be damned. So, yes, if somebody well, gets out there and lays that in... They've uh, got defense. They've got their defenses done. Yeah, this tank is out. This uh, tank is out. So well, they're not, they're not, oh, here's Big Bite, Big Spitter, Big Biter, oh, finally on, fi on Team 1, 53%, there you go. There we go. What was that there throw? Yeah, 370, uh, how did that jump? Zeno threw 200 a while back. And Ogre, oh, look, Ken threw some purple. He stealth threw some purple, we didn't see it. Oh, okay. Look at that, purple. Mm. Is it my answer? Yours seems fuzzy compared to Clown's. Uh, it should be fine. I don't know. I don't have yeah. enough screen space. Twitch says it's fine. Twitch says it's Hello, fine. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Uh, PCU! Wow. Look, look at all of these. Uh, wow, look at the percentage. There's so few mediums now. <clears throat> Yeah, but occasionally you get smalls still thrown in the mix. They don't last long. So, North needs to get out here, put in these pipes, have two or three tanks right here, and get that pump installed. I would agree. I would I would put a tank just inside the base. Yeah, and just yep. have two, three tanks. Just drain the tanks, because they've got... Let's go full spectator mode. Come on, spectator mode. Go, go, go. They have... There's a tank here, which has 23k in it. Uh... Oh, well, it's out of power as well. So they've got a hundred, almost 100k. Uh, Ugg was killed. That's not good. Yeah, he's stepped in acid. He's good. Oh, and he's doing it. Power, power, and pipes. He's gonna, he's gonna go out there himself. He says, "All right, I'm gonna go out, go see what's up myself." If they put in four tanks and a pump, they could drain a hundred thousand oil. Agree. Into the base. Do it. I which agree. is a massive amount. Yep. And and I would just I would just throw a radar next time out there there's no uh, risk of being that far out there and that way you could instantly see no risk right uh, you could instantly see is it on or is it off right yeah. and then you'd know you have a problem okay oil is back online for north let's look oh yeah that's already up to 6k but yep. that's the thing if you just put in like a pump a couple of tanks you can empty what's out there into the safety of the base. Because in yep. four minutes, shit's going to hit the fan. Shit's going to hit the fan. Uh, light oil tank to 80% versus 50% even. Armageddon is only a few minutes away. Yeah, but when Armageddon hits, things like... The game starts throwing packs for both teams. For uh, for, for all of it, yeah. Yeah. Um, which scales the Evo up. Ogre. So, uh, look at that. We've thrown... 50, 70 purple packs. <laughs> and all of them have been stealth. <clears throat> stealth thrown. Oh, it seems AFK 20 seconds. That's not good. Oh, no, he's moving again. And cool. Every, uh, every purple is worth five blues. Just FYI. What's Larry? Larry pisses me off. That little thing running around the island. Oh, the copper trunk? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I don't see it anymore. I don't pay any attention. It doesn't, Sauron. It's just, it doesn't announce anything other over uh, under 20. So if it's 20 or above, then you throw. And then then it'll put a message in there. It's no different otherwise. And Ken is out fixing South's oil, it looks like. Uh, no 
Nope. I don't know if it's intentional. They, I mean, they've got a they've got a small purple build. It's not like that, you know. It's not like they're kicking, it, killing it on uh, on purple. Let's look. It's about to get bad. Yep. So they may have only had. Okay, now they have. Uh, now they have thirty in a tank. And Ken's probably gonna go through them, throw them all. Armageddon in two and a half minutes. <clears throat> Phoenix has pointed out some sort of uh, issue with the hole, the mixed patches. Nephrim's throwing. Yep. Here's what they should do: is before Armageddon starts, you want to be empty on empty in your inventory. You want to throw all the science. There are 36 Throw it right now. Because everyone starts at a uh, everyone starts accelerating from wherever they are. So throw them, throw them. Yep, just threw all the red green. Yep, there you go. Zeno's gonna throw them all. Seven hundred. Oh. Uh, Seven hundred. Yep, they're throwing them all too. So eighty-four to sixty. That looks like how we're gonna go into Armageddon. Two minutes. Oh, there's twenty left. Okay. Yeah, no, it's not really dealing with bodies at all. 86 seconds. 86 seconds. South is about as fired up as they can be. D4 has done well. I mean, all the predictions on uh, on my side and I think on your side had Steel Axe in and favored, but uh, we're go we're going into extra innings here. It's that's not bad. All right, I'll be back. I'll wait here. Yeah, see, they need reds. They need, they're out of red uh, red circuits here. It must be hand-fed because there's nothing. Or where's the red? Oh, down here. What are they missing for reds? Uh, nothing. Plastic, I guess? Nope, wasn't Fritz the carpet guy. It was the uh, package guy for another package for the missus, uh, which is for Frau Sassy because it's from Germany. Go. Yeah. <clears throat> 30 seconds. Mm. North wall has a hole. Uh, it has a weak spot. Doesn't have a hole. Got a valley. <sighs> They've been finally fairly fine on that side. Yeah, plastic. How many packs? 56 packs. What did the chat say? That 10 packs is worth 1%? Six seconds. Yeah, here we go. Armageddon. Here we go. Boom, two hours. So if we click on this, and we'll see the total passive feed is going to start scaling up. Slowly. Uh, oh, we got a sound, we got a sound drop. Reach 90% EVO in 30 minutes. Cats are fighting. Uh, it doesn't really indicate. Oh, Armageddon does not appear here to do. Cool, handy. It can't be bought, bullied, reasoned, or negotiated with. That's right. Some men just want to watch the world burn. Yeah. Yeah, I want to watch the biters burn. Does that count? We watched uh, the Dark Knight series this week while we were coveting. Ah, uh, yeah. Batman Begins, Dark Knight. They got to see Heath Ledger as the Joker, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, awesome and <clears throat> out there. Yep. South's making poison capsules. They are. North, North has poison capsules and a lot of them. Are they... And it looks like all the teams have picked up a stack of poison capsules each. Uh... Where is the poison? Oh, there they are. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yes, yeah, spiders. Walk around the wall. Don't bother attacking. Walk. Oh my god. You see this clown? Yep. Yeah, they're, they're thinking about it. <laughs> no, they're just saying, no, we're not going to attack there. We're going to go hit the north side. 
They're thinking about it. They, which, they, they which, need some time. Which Auntie is going to double up. We now have twice the fire in the north. Yeah, look at that. Because that's Sets where they're four. expecting to get hit. Yep. Now, realistically, I think they want to have them yeah. twice as wide rather than twice as tall. Because it's the active fire on the biters that does the most damage. The damage over time has been nerfed a lot. Uh, you want to have active fire on them. Look at that. These guys are stuck. And he's going to go patch the hole. Yeah, that's too far forward. It's getting spit. And its pipe's broken. Oh, look. He's going to poison the tree. You see him throw a poison capsule to get rid of the tree? Why? What did the tree ever do to you, Auntie? He's gangster. That's why. Look at that. He um, couldn't He couldn't reach the tree to chop it, so he just threw a poison capsule. Oh, look. He's going to kill the trees uh, in front, too. Look uh, at that. It's a matter of time before they die off with fire. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, south. Southwest. I'm looking. Here we go. This is a lot. They're going to cross 90% real quick. Uh, oh, they're landfilling. They are landfilling. They're landfilling the way around. around. <sighs> landfilling pretty quick, too. Okay, South needs to do something about that. Yep, I see. Yeah, that's no good. <clears throat> but that's, so, again, that's that's super rare to uh, well, come around well, that side. I, I'm not sure if this was to protect the pipes or to stop that exact thing happening in the north side. Yeah, right. Uh, they can landfill the river? Yes. See, so, behemoth spitter on south. Can, uh, can they landfill enough to reach a rocket launcher across to hit that pipe? Yeah. Yep. Huh? Yep. You just gotta keep convincing the biters to go over there and get burnt nicely. Yep. Huh? You gotta keep them, keep them coming around. Yeah, that's a that's a meta strategy right there. Is kill the biters enough to you where you can landfill across and then go uh, go uh, jack up some builds. It might come down to who has uh, more stone, you know. Let's look at their wall build. 169 on a 200 wall or so. Uh, okay, that's not bad. Uh, We've still got a lot of wall. Yeah, no. Auntie's gone and tapped another mixed patch and he's tapped all the stone out of it to run more walls and. Yep. Hmm. You je jetty yep. strat? Yeah, la landfill across and, 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 and piss off the other team? Yes. Uh, Morton? Uh, wait, Biters can landfill? Biters can landfill. Bigs and Behemoths can landfill. Uh. Yeah, so uh, look at that. 24 stone furnaces going nothing but wall. Just all wall, man. Gabriel is going to get himself killed. Just trying to distract the spinners. It's, it's too dangerous. There's just way too much acid. Let, let them pick at the walls. Just stand back where it's safe. They don't have rocketry. No. They don't have rocketry. <clears throat> so, same story. This might get landfilled in? No? No? 93% Evo. Here come the behemoths. Watch for the first behemoth on uh, south. <clears throat> but at this rate, it won't be long before north will get them too. I think both teams are fairly prepared for behemoth biters. Yeah, this is I'm, gonna be I'm a sort of matter surprised of, uh, teams aren't throwing harder and faster. I don't know if they. I don't know if they care now. <clears throat> yeah, but still push the other team. Like you, you've got production going into things. Either that or turn it all off. Yeah. But, so. Uh, yeah, or now, now you let Armageddon push all the Evo, and then you s go into science and catch up on all the science that you've delayed. Yeah. Like, what about you know? Like I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be. Fuel belt. If you're not doing si if you're not throwing, then turn off anything using oil. Like just, just tank yeah. all the oil. Build all the yep. flamethrowers. Yep, I agree. And uh, and maybe throw in some. Uh, 
You got some blue science. Throw in some, uh, get beef up your flame turrets with Reflammables 3, or Refined Flammables 3, which that's what they're doing, I guess. It's in the queue. Mm. That's strong right. explosives. Yeah, Refined Flammables 3. It's 300 blue packs. Why not? Blue packs are worth next to nothing now. Yep. And look, they have 400 in the box. Yeah. Uh, I may uh, I may just throw those into the science machine and off you go. <clears> they <throat> don't want to be burned. Oh, the biter's hanging out over there. Yeah, so there's, there's many biters that are on the map that are just giving up. Come on, speak to the map. Go. Yeah, there's biters hanging around doing nothing. Behemoth Biter was spotted for Team South? We already had that notification. Yep. Oh no, it was a spitter. Oh. Okay, so we got spitters and <clears throat> biters. Hmm. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Mm, Defiant Dan! Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Welcome to both North Team and South Team being as defiant as possible. Oh my god, in the North! They're landfilling. They're landfilling the way across. Oh, they're going to do it. Oh, yeah, that's a lot. <clears throat> oh, there we go. 150. Yeah, they are, they are, they are two walls away from breaking through. You're right. 150 purple. Mustang gold. Four and a half percent. But two and a half thousand threat. Check their inventory. See if... See if somebody's just stockpiling 15,000 packs. They don't have defender capsules <clears throat> in here. Well, I don't know why they did the research. That's what I'm saying. Uh, defender Dan loves your Timberborn series. So many moist beavers. There were so many moist beavers. There were wet beavers too. They were trolling. No, we didn't have any troll beavers, but we do have behemoths. All right, here we go. That's a, that's a lot. That's many of them. And they're just going to sit in the fire and not give a shit. No problemo. Oh, look, they've got poisons too. Ten yeah. ogres on them. Yeah. Now, poison look stacks. This. Poison stacks. Goodness. Ken Ogre was killed because he stepped on the wrong square. Uh, Ugg is going to die too. Gun. Stop using your gun. It's pointless. Yeah, it's pointless. Ugg's going to die too. Because look, what? Oh, Ugg can't Jesus. see and he's getting. Ugg's going to die. One step in acid, you're dead. So One step, dead. you're dead. Behemoth, Behemoth Spitters is insane. Is it all dead? Yeah, it's all dead. Or is there uh, one left? No, I don't know why he threw that. He's dunking on him. Yeah, kill those corpses is good. Mm. But they aren't stacking it. True, they're not stacking it. But it was a small attack. When the bigger ones come in, they're like five poison capsules. Yeah. Cop this poison. Uh oh. So it's really who's going to get taken out first? That's really what we're down to. Christian, but. One of them has behemoths and the other one doesn't, which is huge. So. And Ken is going with the dragon gums. As well. <coughs> okay, this looks like it's going to be unassisted. 100%. Feeding three 103%? No, 100.3%. Dragon Gums. Yeah, Dragon Gums. People do Dragon Teeth. Occasionally, you round all out, you go for Dragon Gums. Mm. Not teeth. So, 1300. Blue. 74 flasks. 74 flasks are worth... Yeah. 1.6. With 11,000 threat. Fuck. So, 
because it's a custom scenario, biters definitely scale over 100%. They do that by you start doing less and less damage. 12,000 12, threat, man. Look out. So, South has turned off their flamethrower build entirely. Okay. North, I don't even know where the flame. Oh, oh yeah, is. look, it's to devote, it's to devote steel to purple. North, that's is it. Insane. That'd be one build I'd be keep going. Like, Here we go. All the flamethrowers. Ken's gonna die if he's not in his in the spitter. Gotta watch out. Mm, it's a little bit of fire with a little bit of poison. Hey, boys, come attack the same spot. Excellent. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna die so quick. Yeah, yeah. they're big. They're super dead. <laughs> cool. Quick way to deal with two thousand threat. Mm. How much threat one behemoth is? No, no idea. <clears throat> Each wave is generally about one to two thousand. Yeah, that was uh, we we reduced. South by about 2,000 with those two waves, so... Oh, look. We've yeah. got a wave coming in here right now. We'll find out. So we're at 10,000, just under. Yeah. And, um... My goodness. Um, oh, they're, this... They're, they're going through the walls. Through the walls. And there's through nobody the walls. around. Oh, here's through Gabriel. Yeah, through the walls. They're through, oh, through Gabriel. the walls. <sighs> Gabriel! Oh, no. Through, through the walls. Through, through, through the through, walls. Through the walls. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they don't give a shit. That is GG, man. I think that's GG. Look, that's so many behemoths in the base. Ken and... Oh, all three of them are down. They're all down. They're all down. That's so many. All their flame turrets are gone. They won't get enough. All as long as they gone. keep chewing the firewall, they'll be fine. But they've turned off flamethrower production. So they've got no way of replacing this shit. And then one more attack behind that, and and it's it's done. <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what we can call it. Yeah, mm. GG. Poison rocks never never use it. Poison is very very powerful, and it stacks. <laughs> Tank of 11k. Getting roasted. Oh my goodness! All of the flamethrowers are gone. Silo is safe. Uh, uh, for the moment. Oh, was oh, another look, attack that guns. came in behind it? There's a little little one that got it eaten. Th it, it ate through this this part. Okay. Uh, oh, there's one flame throw left. <clears throat> Two flame throws. Um, no, 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 no. They're, they're done. Uh, so zero flame throwers. Behemoth wandering around the base. Uh, a new attack came in from the left. Uh, Silo is at two and a half, one and a half, and, and dead. Right. Two fifteen. <laughs> okay. All right. Match predictions. Who won? Oh, ninety-two percent of you voted for North. <laughs> well, the 8k, uh, 8k points that were uh, spread on South's team uh, are going to get redistributed to uh, those who predicted North one. Uh, peace over. Yeah, damn, I came at the wrong moment. Rise of Solo explodes. Yeah. Uh, uh, so Gabrielle, who joined late, uh, 131,000 damage to walls. I said those grenades hurt. Those grenades really hurt. Uh, I had enough fire, they didn't need the grenades. Okay. Uh, 